Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, session 33, part 2. It is the 11th of January 2020. I'm Ryan, the GM. Here are the players. Hi, I'm Callum. I play Lord Sorcerer. <laughs> Lord Sorcerer! <laughs> Lord Sorcerer! <laughs> Lord Sorcerer! Sorcerer Lord of Sorcery. Did uh, I try again? Did I start again? <laughs> I'm Ryan, the GM. Here are the players. Hi, I'm Callum. I play Lord Eric Greenwood. And I play a human sorcerer. <laughs> a sorcerer human. Hi, so... I'm Adrian. I play Arya Bluebird, the half of Druid. Hi, I'm Scott. I play Crumbar, the half orc paladin. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kitlith Amastasia. I'm a rogue wood elf. <laughs> oh, I'm Stuart, I'm to reach a half elf monk. I love the idea of a rogue wood elf. <laughs> <laughs> One of the wood elves has gone missing! <laughs> Quick, put her down! Oh dear. Not wow. so sorcerer with you! <laughs> Best intro yet, guys. I love it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think we should all say it backwards next time. Yeah, just, to, just re I, I'm rearrange the words. <laughs> how, how would you say it backwards? Oh dear. No, it's fine. I think. Paladin, but... half fork, crumbar, Scott, play. Let's play the circle around the town. I reach play. I. There you go. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, this is when you actually learn that if you say it properly backwards, it actually reveals the quest yeah. solutions. Yeah, we're but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is, uh, is that how you actually close the, the hell to the black trunk spear into the abyss? <laughs> no, that's how you summon Celeste. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but. but, speaking of which, right, we uh, open back up on Arya, bringing 13 more people back to the, the group of oh 11. Goodness. I guess, really, even though they've wandered off, right? So, what's happening at the camp? Um, are they all kind of back like together again? Nah, you have eleven of them. Twenty-one of them. Sorry, thirty-four of them are still scattered. No, but I mean, like the ones that Arya have brought back. Yeah, no, like remember she didn't really convince them. They just walked by her. Oh right, yeah. I thought she. Oh right, okay, I thought yeah. you just said it. Remember she no, used all of her luck. Sadly. She tried. She really tried. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yep. They just, um, I just couldn't do anything. I'm not gonna say anything just now. Okay, yeah, so Ari, you head back. Um, you see Crumbar like... just kind of sat down. Everybody else kind of like crowded around the, the cart. I, I just like literally sat down and put my hand in my hands and be like, they, they wouldn't listen. They're being very foolish. I tried to reason with them, but here's the hoping nothing bad happened. Mm -hmm. you, uh, 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 sorry, yeah. give me a minute. Words fail you, we get it. Yeah, pretty much. Um, mm -hmm. I just kind of look at um, Aria and I'll just say it's like, it's not your fault. I thought I could, you know, I came off as too intimidating, they fled, but we can't be a kid, you know, we we can't control their foolishness if they choose to run off. And I'll just be like, you know, just like nodding and... Yeah. Are you kind of chill out at the camp with them? Yeah, um... How are the eleven that are left? What are scared. they? Are they still scared? Yeah, they kind of haven't moved. They've kind of like stood stiff. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll walk over to them. They take a step back. <laughs> and f yeah, I'll, I'll be like, I've only came over to apologise. I think that crying kid's probably still crying. And the, like the mother's like held it, so it's like kind of tucked into her. And I think they just say, "Please, just let us go." Um. 
that really isn't in your best interest. If you have got the same infection as that paladin, you'll all be in danger. Can I roll Persuade? It sure. will probably be a disadvantage though. Keep in mind though, if anybody has inspiration, you can spend it at any point, remember. So, that's a thing. I need to remind people of every now and then because we don't use it that often. Motherfucking heart of the cards, go! Two 19s. It's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. yeah. No, I'd say like you do. You do well enough to like. It's maybe a mix of they're probably still scared if they did try and like disobey you, right? But at the same time, the idea that you're trying to be like, no, you need to stay here. You might be infected. We're getting help, right? I'd say that's enough to keep them there, like without it being awkward now, right? Um. Mm -hmm. But they're probably back to the status quo of what it was like when you first arrived at the camp, right? Yeah. Like. Um. I guess you know. I'll just say: Is there anything I can do to ease your fear? I think it's just a woman just saying, "Just let us go." And that's it. But she's obviously still trying to console her crying kid. So. Yeah. Or is the other kind of like infected? What, you, what does he mean infected? Are we gonna go like that, Paladin? You know, and just muttering between themselves, rhubarbing, as it were. What about Arya? Anything else you're doing, Arya? I wouldn't really know what to do, to be mm. honest, because I'd be very much like. Yeah, exactly. You know, right. very disappointed with myself for. Um, not, like people not listening to me despite my best efforts despite you know trying to talk to them the nice way trying to then scare them into backing off like nothing works so i'm probably quite down and disappointed and sad right now basically mm -hmm. okay yeah um crumb brian how's you want to do the camp or am i switching back i'm trying to just think the other words um so there's the we kids still being a little shit. Um sure. <laughs> women still scared of me. Um what time is it roughly? Is it what time would you like it to be? If it was in the evening, I could start setting up a camp and be like offering to make them food and stuff. Try mm -hmm. and kind of calm them down. Yeah, it can, it can be like, I don't know, like the equivalent of six, I guess, I think. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to describe um, Yeah, I'll just say that to them and I'll be like, um, you must be getting hungry here, allowing me to prepare a meal for you. And like there's still like um, probably really bad supplies left over, but you could always like go try and hunt something as well, or Arya could. Yeah, oh, that's what I was hoping Arya would do. <laughs> mm. um, yeah. I mean, I've still got like seven rations as well. So yeah, I can always make good berries though. The um, the thing is, though, like they've got supplies there. Like you're not like struggling for food. It's just the food's probably crap now. Right. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. It'd but you could still eat it. Gets. It would still yeah. cover you. It's just, yeah, not going to be... Not going to be very tasty. Yeah, but you could hunt for something tastier if you wanted. Yeah, I could definitely try that. Yeah, if you wanted to do that. Mm -hmm. Do you want to roll a survival for me? Yeah, that's what I was checking. I think it would be survival, wouldn't it? Mm. If I... Would that be helping her with this? No, because you're probably going to stay with them, right? Oh, fuck it, she doesn't need it. But also, you'd probably want to stay with the group, right? Yeah. So um, yeah, no, and that was enough. I, was I going break to, food. I was gonna do it in certain stages there, where like if you'd got like a, a normal success, you could have got enough for the normal amount of survival, like which is like a, a group of five or six, and then but now you've got enough to like give everybody something substantial, considering your group's reduced. So yeah, you managed to find enough I, to bring back, and you just start preparing that and settling down, and maybe people have camped down a bit more, where like you know they're mm. waiting on help coming. Um, yeah. Is the wee boy still greeting? <laughs> probably just sobbing, right? He's probably just mm. not happy at all. Um, but yeah. So you start to 
I guess, set up a camp, etc. The other group, unless you've got anything else you want to do at the camp? Um, well, well, I'm, I'm still guessing that, um, like, if you look at the map, for instance, I'd still be guessing, like, the current uh, thing would be, like, they, they'd be, like, there and, you know, we'd be, like, there, I me know. and Aria. So, I mean, while we're while we're sure. sitting, <laughs> while me and Ari are sitting away, um, and now that things have calmed down a bit, uh, and we've all eaten and drank and whatnot, um, I'll ask Aria if she wants to continue her lessons. Yes. Oh, sure. Speak infernal around people who are going to run away at the earliest. Of- yeah, probably not the smartest thing, but it could you could very like openly and be like, hmm. "Do you still want me to teach you that language?" And yeah, you know, yeah, no, like I, like like I say, I'm only like doing it now. I mean, let's face it; I probably have some notes and everything, hmm. you know. Yeah, like it, we've not lived around Ar- Aramos for this long without you know some of his yeah, obsessions with no. pen and paper and uh, having <laughs> yeah, something to I mean, write with, without some of that picking being picked up by us. And obviously as well, like, it's not like we're just sitting there speaking Inferno the whole time, because it's like, mm. we'd be having to switch back and forth to describe things. Plus, there's also a re- like, I'd imagine we'd also have a fire going, which might cover up this. It's like, what? No, that was just the fire making that sound. Um, you could always try and hide the fact that you were doing it from them. If you want yeah, we could be whispering, could, but then yeah, they could, would uh, think we're whispering about yeah. them. I, I'd that rather, would make it I'd worse. rather not yeah. whispering thinking, demons. It more. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like making it very like open and clear. It's like, hey, you gonna teach me some more of that language? You know, like loud enough for others to hear as well, so that mm. they know what we're doing. Because I think if they know language is evil, it's what you do with it, right? I mean, sure. Oh God, I sound a little American there. So, yeah, you can do that. Like, you can let me know if you want to try and hide, hide it from them or not. Is it? Are you being open about it or are you going to hide it? That's it. So I, I, I think I best to be open. Yeah, I'd say best to be open. Okay, cool. And he's going to do anything to keep them calm. Um. <laughs> see, I'm I'm trying to find something to do to keep them calm, but I don't really have anything. Camp, campfire <laughs> games. Before you guys do do this, bear in mind you have scared most of them away already, and now you're going to speak in a scary language around them. Just a lot of scary. I mean, Is, I are we not know, trying to keep them like... out of the camp? At this rate, the um, at Reach Kitty and the uh, like mage guy is going to show up in about. So where is everyone? No, like, yeah. You guys are like, well, we yelled at them. <laughs> yeah, we yelled at them. We spoke Inferno. We... I don't. I mean, I don't think it's going to be as scary as they think. You know what? Right. You know what? Why not go food? A uh, food here is food. Is yeah, in yeah. Inferno, you say the clerk right? That's whatever you do. Right? Mm. But... <laughs> the eyes t- turn fiery when you do this as well, because that that put the uh, cherry on the top. <laughs> No, you don't just automatically get fiery eyes when you speak Infernal, it's just really unnerving when people hear it. Again, it's yeah. very the, the deep speech or the black speech story from Lord of the Rings. It's not a... nobody likes hearing it. It pains people. I, I could probably be like, you know, when you tell me like a new word, I'd be like, oh, that's that in Elvish. Not mm. that they sound alike, but like... T- <laughs> make it... I don't know, maybe feel more comfortable to people? I don't even know. But then again, I probably wouldn't be the sort of person that would be very much like... Like, if I stated my intentions, then that's it, and if they don't believe it, it's their sort of Yeah, I mean, it's up to you. Issue, so you like, it's them it. being idiots. Yeah, so I, I'd be quite open about what I'm doing. It's like, oh, I'm learning a new yeah. language, you know, because I'm a scholar. Well, not really, but I like learning things. Why are you trying to they learn? Don't, they don't trying... need to know the reason why, I, but I can always give half of the reason, you know, because I'm curious and he knows this language and I don't. And I feel also... like it's something to do. Sorry, so what were you saying? 
I feel like Grumbar should play his pan flute, and Aya should like maybe do little tricks with um, R- Ria. <laughs> Like, you That's know, an just... option as well, I guess. That is an so, option. So it's a very much safer option than <laughs> talking in a language that will. Physically... I guess. Because yeah. people well, are stupid. This is something we need to remember. Oh, I'll catch up or something. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. You managed three plane mice, and that's about it. Yeah. Looks <laughs> like. <laughs> what would mine be? Performance. And what's this for you to do with Ria? I don't know. Maybe I uh, toss something handling if it was in the air and she. Uh, depends. Oh, you yeah, talk. Okay. No, you talk. You talk me through what you do, and I'll tell you what the skill is. Essentially, play fetch with her. I'll just yeah, that toss handling. something yeah. like far away, and she'll mm. just grab it. Oh my god! Ria just looks at you when you throw the stick away, <laughs> and then just looks back at you, and blinks once. <laughs> You're like, come on, get it. No? Oh, okay, you've had a big meal and now you don't want to do tricks. Fair enough. <laughs> I feel like, if anything, this would endear them a little bit more. Because it's like, you know, they're trying to... They've all seen animals not doing what they're supposed to be doing, I guess. You really were lucky to have been saved by us, put it this way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, yeah, just, oh dear. Could have gone a lot worse. <laughs> Where did you move that information, um, Eric? What information? Right. Maybe we don't have an Eric. Wait, what? Sorry. Where did you put the information for Eye of the Storm? Because uh, I built you an Eye of the Storm button, but. Uh, did you did you edit that yet? No. <laughs> I don't know where to put it. I've got it copy and pasted. I just okay. don't know where to put it. Okay. Well, see for like magic items going forward. I'm gonna make like we'll do them as the red, um, text. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I see. Okay. So I've put it in as a magic uh, weapon. I guess that's what it is. I've already put it in the for you, so you can edit things as you need to, and it's like... You need to well. sing I Have the Tiger with the little exchange <laughs> every time you cast it. Like. <laughs> I have the storm. Uh, and it's summer in my house, a witch falling from the skies above us. <laughs> um, okay. I mean, uh, fair play. <laughs> no, all true facts. Crumbar and a... Are yeah. He's then gonna then try and hope that they are sated enough that yeah, you can then speak infernal near them. Mm-hmm. Um, it could even be that we could just tell them it's like, okay, we have uh, we have some studying to do on a uh, a language uh, a lang uh, a language you might find distressing. Yes, yes. Thank you. Just for making words yeah. happen for Okay. General performance, Grumbar, and general arcana. Okay. Oh, yeah, even, sorry. <laughs> Welcome to my oh, show. No, nope, I'm beating you there. Told you. <laughs> yeah. I think because. Today of, is not my day. I think because of how much you're trying to keep this less than disturbing, I don't think you get much done. Um, I just rolled an actual dice and it gave me a natural d20. Like, I'm not even joking. <laughs> to be fair, your 19 survival was good. You managed to feed everyone. And you didn't terrify them yeah, with Arcana. Yeah, I know. But still. So I think we're still working on that. No progress has been made with the Infernal. But it's probably not the right time to do it. Um, yeah, probably that's why. Yeah. Um, while you're doing that, though, I think um, Naldrum is obviously trying to make small talk as you head through the city and go back out. Can you use both roll... You can decide how you want to do this. Somebody can roll perception normally. Or you can both roll perception at disadvantage. I don't really care how you want to do this. What's this? I didn't this know. is the kitty and reach. Oh, right, okay. This. So you've got two choices. You can assist each other and roll normally, one person. Or, individually, you can both roll at disadvantage. With a perception. 
Oh, what's your perception at? Plus two. I'll wage you. Oh. Uh, mine's six. Plus six. Plus six. Right. I think. Okay. I aid you. Yeah. Is it in the skill section, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And mine says six next to it. Yeah. Yeah. I aid you. So you would just roll normally then, for your. So what? What are they rolling for? No idea. We haven't percepted it yet. Oh right. Okay. I was just wondering. If, so like. Kitty, and obviously maybe with the help of Reach, because maybe you're sort of just trying to, I don't know, depends how you feel about Nalgrim, just kind of making small talk, like, so, up north, travelling lots, was it dangerous? You know, all that kind of generic stuff, like somebody who doesn't get out of the, the order hall much. And, um, Type of chat, get those dwarf legs removed faster. <laughs> <laughs> As he shuffles up quickly behind you, um, the jangling of all the kind of herb jars and stuff in his backpack. And, um, it's like Dexter's laboratory walking, where I just don't see his legs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Super fast, kicking up some dust from the road. And um, yeah, you start to spot some of the villagers like making their way to the city. Oh no. You definitely recognise them. I can't Where's trust them with anything. Watches? And they're like, like they're, the reason why it was at disadvantage because it was like in a crowded city. Um, so like they're kind of like, you just spot them going, wait a minute, that's that person that was in the cart. <gasps> um, or that's that person that sat too close to the money, maybe in Kitty's case. <laughs> um, bye. So you, you spot some familiar faces. Maybe only like one or two, but enough to make me like, wait a minute. To be honest, nothing we can do other than maybe tell Naldron Blue. Looks as though some villagers have made it in here. And we need to find out where it is quickly, because we it, might need to treat the whole city. I think it just, it doesn't even say anything, it just shuffles harder, right, and faster uh, him to try and keep up with you guys. Um, as you all maybe speed up a bit towards the, the campsite. Well, yeah, so we'll have you working your way back out to the campsite. Did you do anything else in the city before you leave, or? No. Do we maybe try and round them up? I really would. I think it would just slow us down and we're still also going Yeah, because you'd need to work through a crowd to get to them and it's like, maybe let's say there was yeah. three people you recognise, but they'd be different points, they weren't like... They weren't all just together. Yeah, exactly. Aye. So you could do it, but you could split up if he's wanted and get somebody to try and do it, I guess, but it's up to you. Not a great idea, I don't think. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I would have probably gone to find Eric... To inform him of what's going on. But well, why don't we have this conversation in character? Then we'll get to the gates, right? And you have spotted those people, and you, maybe by the time you get to the gates, you're like, you say that to Nalgrim, who's like, okay, we best hurry then. Let's feed yeah. in there. Yeah. Right. So, you head off with this dwarf dude. Um, I'll go inform Eric of what's going on, and I'll meet you back here. Oh, there. But okay, yeah. Uh. You meet back at the camp where the, the lots of gold is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I mean, yeah. Um, <laughs> bye. <laughs> <laughs> now I was like, lots of gold. He just raises yeah, his eyebrow. Yeah, has got his armour on. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of just like nods and kind of like shuffles again in his robes. And then, uh, yeah, so you start heading out with him. Um, anything specific you want to talk to Naldrum about at all on your your walk back or your run back? Tell him the herbs I tried to give the guy in. Yeah, the, so you could just like tell him exactly what you tried. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, yeah. He'll kind of like as you're saying what you did. He'll be doing that kind of textbook like reciting what they're good for, if that makes sense. Absolutely yeah. nothing in your case, uh, much yeah. like war. But um, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you. You kind of get the impression as you're walking that he definitely doesn't get out much purely based on that because you're saying, yeah, I used this root and this leaf and this, uh, you know, flower, and he's like, ah, yes, and that makes blah 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 blah, and such reciting good for these things, and just just babbles in, in alchemy, really. As you head off back to the, he's kind of just trying to make himself seem useful, right? <laughs> Bubble in alchemy, but okay. <laughs> Bubble instead of babble, yeah, okay. <laughs> Take inverse inspiration. <laughs> Lose inspiration. Yeah. Um, yeah. So he 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 bubbles in alchemy. Then as you head back um, and try, he struggles to keep up with you, obviously, because you obviously maybe struggle to stay at a slow. As yeah. Much as I can. And then um, so he went strength primary. You could just have lifted him. <laughs> that was yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think we focus in on 
Kay heads back towards the Rainwood Estate, right? So that's obviously at the upper city. Um, so you work your way that way. Do you do anything else in the meantime before you head towards the upper city? No, probably just make a, a beeline to it, really. Yeah, okay. And I think what we do is we'll, we'll focus back on Eric then, because you'll probably have a lot of conversation before you get there. So we cut back to Eric's hammer in the, the palm of this person, and he slowly looks up, and then we have the hooded woman, Celeste, staring back. There a big kind of smile that creeps along her face kind of softly, and then um, she's just staring, and there's that kind of moment of uh, quiet. What do you do, Eric? Mouth open, just looking at like what? Like, why are you here now? What? And then I think at that point you say like, why are you here now? And then the camera goes like at a wider angle, and you're in the the eight doored room, the celestial nexus. So you're in that room again. You go around your why am I here? Is my bird with him? No. Damn it. So you're staring at her and she kinda like her smile kinda like fades from her face. And she says So quick to throw your life away. And she kinda just tilts her head slightly and looks at you. Like kinda look like genuine concern on her face. I think I, you, I think you might even I'm... feel that, like kinda wave off of her as well. Like I think like, you know you can feel quite physically that she's concerned for you. It's not subtle at all. I have to save my family. My actions are going to cause them pain. And she's just kind of like staring, like those kind of like white glowing eyes, kind of almost looking past you. I kind of look sad. And then she says, your family are safe. Wasn't that the information you received? She also told me to come and go to him. And then she lets go of the hammer. Do you like, do you feel the weight of it again? I guess I just kind of like fall forward for slightly. And then uh, she then says, your methods are reckless. And she like waves a hand towards the hammer in front of you. Oh, see what evidence is it to show of this. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just going for sass points? Do I need to generate a new stat for you to <laughs> Plus one sass? <laughs> Renamed to Sassy Stew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dawn's Golden Sass. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, sorry, go for it, Eric. That is funny. It's so the sure. only method I have of transporting over large distances in a quick time. And she's just kind of staring at the hammer and then at you. And then she says, I think you need that to be true. Yes, maybe I do. Then she kind of like crouches down, because obviously you're kind of like half hunched over with your hammer. And she kind of crouches down and she kind of just sits down and crosses her legs, like with this kind of weird robe kind of dress thing she's got going on. And she just kind of sits down and she just stares up at you as if expecting you to like sit across from her. I guess I'll take the hint and sit across from her. <laughs> and then she just kind of stares at you for like about 30 seconds. Do you do anything to break the silence or...? No, I'm just... not... like, breaking... eye contact? Yeah. If you want to call it that. I think obviously the more, you, the, more you're, the more you stare at her, like, the more obviously like you start to see, like, again, this almost starfield effect through the, the white light of her eyes. Um, and yeah, after like 30 seconds or so, she says, you just died. I'm dead. And she kind of like 
moves her head to like the left and then to the right slowly, and then uh, as if saying no. So I could have died if I carried on with the action, she or if you didn't stop. She nods like once. Yeah. Would the hammer have killed me, or would magnet have killed me? Like her face is so like stoic. She doesn't even like no hint of anything. Her lips are like. Plus, keep in mind you don't remember her face when you like cease to be with her. Like you could never draw a picture of her, even though you can see her when she's there in mm. front of you. And she's just kind of staring stoically, as if yeah, there's no answer to that question. So why did you stop me? You agreed to help me. Huh. I don't remember there being a, an agreement, more well, that I had a dream of you and you told me to follow them, so I did, because they could help me. You're still just staring. And the help so far has, uh, I guess, moved my home a bit. <laughs> I don't know if it's so far if I should have followed on this journey. And then she, uh, she does the equivalent of what would be a blink, right? Because it'd be difficult to uh, kind of really notice that through the lights of her face. And she, uh, she blinks anyway, and then she says, What's next? I don't know. Who knows what's next? <laughs> yeah, right? I don't know the numbers. I'm like, I'm rich. But she kind of like, you know, she says, what's next? And then what's Eric's response? I don't know what's next. It's not within my power to know. And she kind of laughs once, like as if it caught her off guard. And I kind of, huh. She's like, but you are in control of what you do next. Yeah, I guess I'll find out what I will do next. But as of right now, I haven't a clue. So, what's next? Hopefully, save my family. He'd save the safe. I don't believe the safe in his hands. And there's a kind of a pause again from her, and then she says, Do you think me untrustworthy? No, I think him untrustworthy. And that makes you wise. I mean, I don't that, have, have that high of a wisdom <laughs> score, but okay. <laughs> she checks her character sheet and she agrees, yeah, you should have put more points after that. <laughs> it's only 13, but yeah. <laughs> She shows you hers and it's like a million. Like, <laughs> Nanny. <laughs> She's played many campaigns. Uh, but anyway, Apparently. back in that she says, you know, and you're wise because of that, you know, suspecting Magna, obviously. Before I help you, I must ensure my family is safe. If I've lost my parents, I can't lose the, what little life I have left. Your parents are lost. You have not lost them. And she kind of like stares at you, like her eyes narrow ever so slightly. And then um, they are out there to be found. Are they alive? And she just stares at you. I need to know. She stands up at that. And she kind of like stands, like half turned away from you and then looks down at you. And then she kind of like motions for you to stand up as well with her hand. Yeah, I'll stand up. She says, she points at one of the big eight doorways that surround this room. She points at one of them and it lights up and like swirls and big starfield and whatnot in it from where you are. And she says, That door leads to Omen. 
and she points at the other door. And she says, that one will take you back to Glitterhagen. Hmm. Your sisters are that way, and she points to Omen. But the answers for your parents are that way, and she points to Glitterhagen. I will trust in you that my sisters are safe. I do not trust him still. And you would be wise not to. I will fight, I will go and get answers, I suppose. Uh, and then look at the glitter he can do. Yeah. And she's just still standing there, kind of staring at you. And I turn and look at it and go, What about the Black Fang Spear? You didn't tell me anything about it, and we've now lost it. Have you? How did you lose it? It was taken. Who took it? The Wizard King. And she just smiles. Have you decided which door you're taking? I think I'll go back to Glitter again. If you've stopped me from killing myself, I should uh, respect what you've done. It was selfish. And she just like looks at you very solemnly. <laughs> Yeah, maybe it was. Now, roll insight for me, just now. You can probably do it with advantage, to be honest, because she has this effect of she's willing to let people know how she feels. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> yeah, you get the impression she doesn't mean you. She's not saying you're selfish. Like, she's not talking about you at all. Beyond that, you don't know a clue, right? 12 isn't enough to get more than that, but yeah, she's not... She's not saying you using the hammer to like, get to them was selfish. That isn't what she meant. But we still have 5,000 gold waiting for us back at this. <laughs> <laughs> Good point, there's money. She, yeah, gives you, she gives you a plan well written out to how to divide up the funds. <laughs> I'm smart. <laughs> but yeah. I shall take this. But yeah, so you get the impression that like, maybe at first you thought, yeah, maybe it was stupid of me doing that. But she doesn't mean that. She doesn't mean you were selfish. So I don't know how Eric takes that information, but yeah. Just a raised eyebrow. Yeah, she has just... Go... go for it. I think I'll go back and uh, find what's next, I suppose. She laughs again, and she says, Try going forward. I find it more useful. And she just laughs to herself. Huh, funny. What does this do? I guess I'm, I'm just going to turn to what to uh, Glitter Hay and I go, maybe until next time we meet. Maybe. And I don't think she said anything. I think she's just going to. The shots may be like from the doorway to Glitter Hagen, looking at you with your, like, your back to her, her in the middle of the room, and you walk towards the door. As you say that, she just stands. So you walk through? Ye. No, I turn and throw my hammer at her. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, final boss, I fight you now. <laughs> Takes off her cloak and it's slobus in high heels. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and I think the scene we get is you walking through like the star field like into like the stars and you walk through like nebula gases and whatnot and you just walk a bit until you start to see Kitty walking towards you and Kitty like from your point of view you've seen him just down in the bottom of this crater um, of his house you've slid down because he's just standing staring into space and then he starts just walking towards you once you get to like the bottom of the crater you like slide down the banking of it and then he just starts walking towards you and then in that scene like Eric that's when like the stars kind of like dissipate and vanish and it, you just see Kitty walking towards you. Are you okay? <laughs> your bird just lands on your me. shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> and then it like fills me in on everything and it's like, okay, so I'm going wide-eyed like, 
It's like oh, you need to spill the beans. It's like he threw his <laughs> hammer in the crate. He came down. He started babbling, and then uh, you turned up. <laughs> oh, so it didn't see Celeste at all? No, not at all. Wow. Eric's been eating those mushrooms again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you didn't see me anything funny. No. Huh. <laughs> right. <laughs> Maybe we need to feed him. <laughs> so, what's the what's your action when you see Kitty then? I just smile and go. It's time to find what's what we need to do next, I suppose. Okay. Well, we found a a healer dude that we've gone back to the camp. So, um, yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, also. The Wizard King has my family. Sorry, what? <laughs> like, just, like, just dead in my tracks, turn around, like, excuse me? <laughs> what? I mean, they're Where not they're dead. Again? Can, come again? <laughs> uh, they're not dead, so... It's not... I mean, have you got proof of that? I mean, I was told they're not dead, they're safe. By who? I'm like, I'll wait for I'll I'll wait to reveal that until everyone's here. Right. Guess we best get going then. <laughs> so you just head back to the, the camp or you do anything else in town? I guess we head straight back to camp. Yep. Cool. Um side eyeing him along the way, like what the f what the frick. Reach and a uh, Naldrum. Uh you get back to the camp mm. and there's a significantly reduced number of people at this camp. Yeah. There's um, 11 plus 2 people uh, from the party and uh, I think Nalvin just quickly looks and goes w w where's the rest of them? It's kind of sounding a bit worried. Well, we saw some in the village in the city there before we left as uh, looks as though there's been quite a few uh, of Wandered off. Yeah, I think of the crumbar now. I used notice of the reach approach yeah. with a. This yeah, I, I nod my head like sadly. Mm. We tried. I tried everything I could think of, but they just wouldn't listen. Well, play hard. You wouldn't want to use force, so yeah. Camera cuts the crumbar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I just, I'm like... To be honest, I've not been the nicest either, so... <laughs> <laughs> You've been Pantaria. <laughs> <laughs> Emmy and Naldrum, have a look first of all at the Paladin. Uh, oh yes, yes, please show me. Person. Please show me Loren. Yeah. So you head over and you just, uh, you just look at Loren. It, it mostly looks like that kind of charcoal skin, as I described. Mm -hmm. Magic Forest is on that cart. <laughs> <And>, uh, <laughs> yeah. He starts to like look over at him. And uh, yeah, he just takes a bit of time. So, like, do you chat to your party members or do you stick around him? Because he's going to take a bit of time to obviously like do his, his bit as yeah. an examination. Party members I'd probably be thing. very curious and watching what's going on yeah. but if these guys you know approach me and distract me then I'll stop paying attention to the guy just saying mm -hmm. so uh, Crombar and Arya uh, Catalyst is away finding Eric who went to his house or uh, the location where his house was <laughs> <laughs> I think if you say that I'll just start laughing a little bit and be like uh, you're back at the woods <laughs> Wouldn't you know? <laughs> I'd expect they'll catch us up, but yeah. Oh. Yeah, and I think um, after maybe like five minutes or whatever of him looking over Loren, he's like, Have you checked the others for similar signs? And he kind of says it kind of quietly to you, reach, like, so he doesn't spook right. people. We've not noticed They've, any just been such symptoms in us. Yeah, nobody's been complaining. Uh, Hmm. But they have been in proximity for a, a long time. And he kind of like nods and he's like, "Could you start checking for the the same?" And he kind of like points to like the the blackened skin, 
And he's like, yeah. if you could start checking for these sounds, I'm going to do some tests on these samples while I can. And he starts like scraping off bits of the charcoal and whatnot. So, yeah. Do you want to do some medical checkups then? We'll do some medicine rolls with. Uh, yeah. If he's if he's both yeah. help out, he's going to have an advantage. So. Yay! Yeah. yeah. I could do it. Shall I do it? I'm probably better at medicine, to be honest. Plus six. Oh, on you go! I'll help you. <laughs> <laughs> plus five. So that's only only one behind. Point. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, not that bad. Yeah. Aria, just remember how bad your rolls are, though. Yeah, that's the other thing, though. Okay. <laughs> luckily, <laughs> Reach, luckily, Reach pointed out things. Um, but yeah, so yeah, you check out the group. Takes a bit of time, obviously. Um, check out. Not a single sign of anything on any of them at all. Nothing remotely mm -hmm. like, obviously, Loren. Obviously, there's still, um, what do you call it? <laughs> just, just practicing, were you? Just curious. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you just check them over. Signs of like bruising, obviously, from travel and maybe the conditions in the camp they were in, right? Um, just malnourishment to a degree as well. Um, but nothing like the weird black veins he had originally, or the blackened skin, or the white squidgy skin. Nothing like that at all. Phew. Nope. And that's like on all of them. So, um, report back to Nardrum. There's nothing visible. Just borderline malnutrition and a bit of rough keeping for a while. But. He kind of like scratches his head a bit and he's like, how long did it take to get this bad? Do you know? Was he like this when you found him? It was like that when we found him, which was three weeks ago. Yeah. Well, it was it's only been getting oh. worse. Yeah. Despite all that effort. Well, yeah. I remember when you saw him, the only thing that was wrong with him was like slight black veins creeping up his neck. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Describe that. Yeah. yeah. And then um, he's like, hmm. He starts to kind of like slowly just nod. He's like, I think we have to wait for the scholars. I think this is a curse. Hmm. And then he just looks kind of at like you three and then looks at the group and looks back at you three. He's like, Kind of motions used to come a bit closer, and then he says, <laughs> "It's unlikely, but if it's a curse, and he pushes both his hands up really quickly. Now I'm no expert in mm. curses, but it wouldn't show signs necessarily. Have you checked yourselves out?" And he's kind of doing it in the most diplomatic way possible, like, mm -hmm. are you yeah. infected? <laughs> How we look? How would we know? I'll, like, so raise my, like, stretches. um... No, not just that, but it's, like, veins. So I'll, like, raise my entire sleeve as much as I can to, like... Yeah, and he's kind of, like, he's kind of, like, I don't know, arms just... And veins and roll another How medicine with advantage. He's kind of, like, each other. Each other. Each other. <laughs> so... If you're doing it check as a group, your friends yeah. for curses. yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, so you check over, and yeah, no, no signs at all. Yeah, cool. No signs at all. Cool, cool. Nope. So, so yeah, you just take something to that. I think by the time you are maybe coming, like finished coming back out of the bushes, um, maybe we've got Kit, Kitty, and Eric heading back. At that point. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Eric's gonna be a wee bit awkward. But yeah, he's always that colour, honest. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that will be awkward. Oh. Yeah. So it's black is blue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. He's so you pale said. anyway. What's <laughs> yeah. this is colour, damn. <laughs> I like the way I just strolled out of the city from that crater of blue. Let yeah. it go in there blue. Yep. <laughs> Wait, would he still be blue? Yeah. Or would yeah. Celeste have maybe... Oh, okay then. No. He, blew <laughs> he blew himself. We know this, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It's like arrested oh. development. <laughs> no, 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 I only smacked my hammer. Oh, wow. Oh my god, it gets so much worse. <sighs> Mate. You can hear Celeste sniggering. 
I know, I know we're after the watershed, <laughs> but come on, we don't we really need. I mean, to we're watch. not really on YouTube, are we? We're whatever MD listens to us. So if you get this far, I mean, unlisten to the last five minutes. Me I mean, it, 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 it's nine forty just now. That means in YouTube world, it will always be nine forty when you watch this video. So <laughs> that's sure. how time we're works. Logic is flawless. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I also just found this, which makes me think of Reach. God boy, kind of access this stuff. Yeah. Um, right, so, meanwhile, you just get back together. I, yeah. Do you say anything yes. as they approach? I'll ask, like, how's it going? You also notice there's a significantly reduced number of people here. There's 11, not 45. Oh, yeah, sort of <laughs> walking up, counting, like, one, two... <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> what did you guys do? <laughs> one job. One job. That's all you had. One job. I just, like, hands Turns out it's not very easy to herd people, even as a do. panther. Sorry, what? what? <laughs> it's, it's not mm -hmm. easy, easy to get people to stay somewhere where they don't even want to stay, either by convincing them or by, you know. Being a panther. Trying to get in their way as a panther. I just what? face palm. <laughs> why, why are you trying to get in the way as a panther? All you're doing is scare them. that way. Yeah, I was trying to scare them in the correct direction, but oh, turns yeah, out that didn't work. Already. Hmm. Well, good job at scaring them. Hey, why, I initially tried to, to talk to them? them. They would not listen. And the obvious answer is more of us should have stayed back anyway. Oh. Yeah, apparently. I had stuff I needed to do. Ah, we need to protect the city. Oh. To be fair, you're now looking at him already, and he's obviously all blue and stuff. He didn't go in blue, remember, guys? Yeah. Where I mean, I guess it's kind of normal to us. <laughs> yeah. Because you've been hitting your hammer again. Oh. Well, I tried, but it got stopped, but uh, maybe I'll save that to stop to later. Proper side eye and now like, mm. Mm. so. Anyway, I think um, I'd stand up at this point and I'd just be looking at Eric and I was like, "Where were you trying to go?" Um, Mike. Oh. Care for care for a bit more details? I don't know where that is. You do. It's the capital. Oh wait, is that the the capital? Woman's right, right in the middle of the map. Yeah. I thought I thought the capital was called something else. Oh, we meet your pal, the Wizard King, were you? I don't know if I'll call him a pal, but um, I know where my family is now. They're an omen. Indeed. Oh. Held by a certain king. It's pronounced hunt. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> Watershed, Scott. Watershed. No. I know, right? Um, <laughs> mm, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I was going to go, but um, a certain... I'll wait till it's just us. Man, the camera pans running now, Rim's just standing with his hands on his hips, staring really intently at Eric. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm guess I'm guessing it's getting pretty late by this. Point. Yeah, it's probably pretty dark. Yeah, you're only pr you're probably yeah, lit by like whatever like, torches and campfires. Yeah, up. I'll be like, well, it seems that everyone's had an eventful day. So we turn. I think we should just turn in for the night and discuss this in the morning. Yeah. Okay. Aldrum, do you need any help at the moment? And he's like. What do you just want to do about? And he kind of like motions back to the cart. Oh, our loot! <laughs> I don't think it's the loot, first of all. I think it's the, the char people. charcoal pair so, and the. Yeah. But that's what I'm asking. What do you want us to do? Do you want him in the Golden Order? or? or yeah, after? shall we transport him or keep him out here? And he kind of just looks really, really nervous, and you see like beads of sweat <laughs> like creep up on his forehead, and he's like, um. Uh, I mean, if we if we move him, 
and to the city and it is a curse we don't know if the curse can spread if we leave him here are we at risk of then spreading the curse more are we already infected oh god why did I come out here <laughs> and he just starts pacing up and down like rubbing his temples <laughs> can I walk over yes and uh you can walk over yeah. mm -hmm. nice. But will you? <laughs> what, what, what was the dwarf's name again? Naldrum. Uh, Naldrum. Yeah. The Drekka. Uh, <laughs> I'll just kind of walk over and uh, slap him and be like, get yourself together. You know, you're here to help. Start thinking straight. Okay, yeah. Sure. Yeah, you do that. And he's like, ah! And like, obviously, it probably hurts, right? It probably really hurts. Let's, let's, let's find out. <laughs> yeah, that hurt. Yeah. He knocks him out. Oh no, you one punched him. Rip. <laughs> so, uh, it's a billow all over again. So like you punch him, he like goes a bit hazy. If it was a cartoon, he'd have cuckoos going in his head, and then he be like kind of shakes a bit, and he's like, "What? What?" what? He's just like he's trying to like form words through the blurriness, I guess. Now, after an orc punch. You're kind of just, you're kind of just holding this guy by like the lapels. <laughs> Again, I'll just repeat. Get yourself together. You're a member of the Golden Order. Act like it. And help. Are you? One of the the eleven, shall we say. Um, leans over and is like, Are you sure we're safe? We're safer than we were before. We just need to figure out exactly what needs to be done next. And you kind of just look what worried. What really again. wouldn't be safe would be to just separate from each other at this point and. What about the others, though? And and that just getting ill city? and not knowing. I am worried about them, and I'm sure. We'll, uh, we'll can, try to find them. You could probably see the lights of Glitterhagen as well off, obviously, in the distance. And, um, like, th th that person just looks over at them and she looks a bit worried and then she kind of looks back and she says, I don't know if it's even safe to go in anymore if the others have made it in and they are. And she kind of, like, doesn't say anything, but she kind of, like, just nods her head a couple of times at you as if you know what I mean to say. Um, maybe we should just head back to our villages and try and rebuild. They will have specialists here that are able to to look at us and be sure that everything is okay. And they looks... might be able to send people to assist with rebuilding efforts. And she kind of just... Obviously I wasn't there to know the yeah, conversation about Yeah, and she, their she kind of rolls her eyes and she's like, I don't think you know how it works in cities. They don't care about people like us. Well, for some of them, it's kind of their duty to care about people. Pussy, don't worry, Boris is not mayor anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, she, she kind of just like goes back to like, you know, her bit of the campfire. Um, yeah, like I think Naldrum kind of like eventually comes to in Crumbar's arms, obviously, and uh, yeah, he no. says, um, "I don't, I don't know if, um, if I'm even able to." Make a judgment call on this, because what, what if I pick the wrong thing and more people get hurt? People will always get hurt, no matter what you do. He rubs his jaw. <laughs> <laughs> All we can do is what we think is best just now. I don't think we should put him in the city. He just kind of shakes his head really, kind of like, solemnly again. He's like, I don't think he should go in. I don't think we should be near him. Well, do you think he should be in a location where he's able to get up and walk away? Can he even get up and walk away? Maybe not at the moment. Can he do it tomorrow? Possibly. I think at that, like, now Drum's eyes go wider again. <laughs> like, he hadn't thought of that. <laughs> and he says, uh, the scholars will be here in the morning. Maybe they'll know more. I think you should maybe rebind him. He kind of just nods at Crumbar. Sorry, you cut out at the end there, mate. Oh, I said uh, the scholars will be here in the morning. Perhaps you should rebind him until then. He just starts nodding at you. 
Yeah, Fact. bring them up anyway. Don't want to leave them unbound. So yeah, it's you know consider it done, and I go off to do it. Yeah, and then you just want to settle in for the night. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nothing happens. These are relatively safe. Um, anyway, um, relatively. Switches back to the next morning. Wake up. All living people are still here that you had before. That's a miracle. Um, I mean, uh, I get my luck back. Yeah, uh, equ equivalent of a full rest. Yeah, end of the cares. Yep. And uh, oh, wait, you. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I get things back. I mean, Ooh. you should have everything back, right? I was missing one hit die. Really? You had three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you said only got the chance of one long rest, so... Not in three that weeks, that was before we left, but yes. <laughs> in three weeks, yeah. oh. long rests. Oh, well. That was just in case something had happened before you got into the travel montage we did last time. Oh, yeah. right, okay. You've had, like, however many goddamn long rests that would be. Ah, you're good. You're full. Everybody, in theory, should be full of everything. <laughs> Except... Bees. Shit. So, um, you wake up, you, yeah, you start like bees, bees. giving out the uh, the leftovers of last night's meal for like some breakfast, and then um, um. and then yeah, like the kind of like a couple of horses approach. Um, you probably saw them for a, a way away um, as they start heading towards you guys, and uh, yeah, they look like um, very very well dressed, almost. Nobility, you could mistake them for, for that way. And uh, these two riders come up and approach the, uh, the group, and they kind of look over and they just like clock the two Golden Order, or three is it, I guess, Golden Order members that are on their feet, and uh, they kind of just nod and say, "Who is in command here?" Uh. I think we kind of all raise our hands at the same time, <laughs> and people look at this kind of like four of us, five of you. What happened? Yeah, like communist anarchy. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got two. The thing is, villagers won't raise their hands, so at least. Truer words have never been said. Eh? <laughs> oh dear. Um. Yeah. So, like, I think there's that awkwardness where you kind of look at each other. Does anyone actually raise their hand? Well, there's only one lord. I think I'll step <laughs> forward, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I think the. The guy on the the horse just kind of like rolls his eyes, kind of like dismounts from the horse, and then like holds up a scroll and he says, "I have." And he just like waves it. It's like, "I have this." Uh, you know, I've been asked to come investigate the mysterious body. The paladin, yes, he's on the cart. Ah, yes, and he just hands you the kind of the scroll and then walks past you. <laughs> <laughs> um, you open it up and it's literally just like an order right it's just like you know I have you know paid for you to come look at these people on blah 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 and sign golden order people and it's literally just the, it's you know a job sheet golden order people <laughs> yeah. like that's the gist of it is um, the golden order have paid for scholars to come check this out um, they are scholars of the royal army yeah um, and yeah they're both elves. Um, both Full elves. I mean, that's racist. Um, yeah, but so I'm wondering if they're going to be racist to us. That's what I was thinking. They're both elves. That's, that's as much. You can you can maybe roll some uh, some dice if you want to to yeah, try and work out their race. They are definitely yeah. pointier than yours, yeah. Um, but you can do a perception check if you want. <laughs> it, oh, right. it been, uh, nah, it's perception. If they look at us funny, basically. I oh, mean, their ears are pointier than yours. They could be gnomes, though. <laughs> <laughs> really tall gnomes! <laughs> that could be three gnomes in a, in a robe. Could I just have a look at them, like, just kind of figure out, you know, how they... Because obviously we all raised our hands at once, and they probably gave us a bad look, and just to see if they, like, generally look down on us. Hey, they're not looking at you anymore. The... It was just a case of, oh god, none of them are answering, so you just dismounted. It was more that this is going to be painful conversation. Look, he gave. Oh, okay, okay, it, okay. it dismounted, and as soon as Reach spoke, he goes, okay, "Ah, so good." Okay, so it didn't mean they just seemed like, "Oh, okay." Yeah. Sure. Oh God, he just what? Yeet What's happening? Oops, sorry, <laughs> just no. throws it. 
I, I put my phone All right, okay, touched ro- the no, keyboard no, in the I, wrong place. It's fine, let's roll initiative. Do um, <laughs> yeah, no, no, not actually right. attacking. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> no, that is not freaking smart, They're here to help. Yeah, they are here to help, but you decided to oh, attack man. them. I didn't decide anything. I just dropped my phone on my keyboard. That's okay. I'm sorry. It's fine. Okay, well, your, your phone decided. No, it's fine. There's no... We're, we're good. We're hey, good. don't punish me for being clumsy, okay? That's like my natural state. Yeah, so we've got... Let's see. Uh, let's put their names in. So we have this guy and we have... Kevin. Uh, this guy. That's the two. Twiddle, do you have two of them? So that's the scholars Kevin of and the, the royal... <laughs> Kevin and Voldemort. Yeah. <laughs> Is that just like Home Alone 4? Um, <laughs> scholars of the Royal. I don't know if we have Alone 5. Oh. There is a fly. Oh god. Um, I know. So, yep. And the they are elves. Scholars oh. of the Royal is a direct okay. So, they they turn up and one of them's just kind of like tending to their horses that they had and the other one kind of heads over to the cart. Um, as I say, you've got that kind of scroll that just says where they're from, who they are, and like the seal of the royal army and also the fact that it was the golden order that paid for them to come here and do this and uh, yeah and they kind of go into the cart and look over it and they say how long has it been like this? Uh, carry on okay I think Nalder whoever could answer but anyway uh, we met him three weeks ago, and he was showing the uh, darkening of the blood veins at the time. Yeah. Signs of death. <laughs> he's been unconscious since we've met him. And uh, like without like moving his head, he's still just staring at like the body of Lauren, who's like lying there. And uh, he says, "Did you see what happened to cause this?" No, but we saw what happened with uh, the the orcs that that did. Uh, that were at least part- partly to blame for this happening. And they all merged into one monster, which we had to kill. He raises an eyebrow at that, and he turns, like his head ever so slightly, and looks at you. And he says, Tell me more of this. Uh, Crumbar, you'd probably be best to talk about it. You were up close with it. Ah yes, your orc. And he, Not walks, my he walks like he right past you, um, <laughs> and like strolls across the the campsite to like just can like stand in front of you. Are you you were standing there, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And he says he puts like an arm, like a hand. Sorry, not an arm. That's weird. He puts the hand on your <laughs> shoulder, and then he kind of says, "Please tell me everything you remember." We tracked the orc tribe that has been causing havoc up north. Um, I don't know what but they seemed changed there was some sort of corruption in them either way it resulted in me having a duel with the chieftain of the tribe and some Near well, he was near defeat. Some ritual took place that fused them all together into some hulking behemoth, um, which we and I just kind of gesture to the group were able to take down. It seems you were fortunate to survive this encounter. Are any of you showing the same signs he was showing? What sorry? Did you hear me? Uh, you got yeah, off come come after you. So, he says, you were very fortunate to survive such an encounter. And he looks at everybody and says, are any of the rest of you showing signs similar to the paladin? There was Sim- a little bit of skill involved, but no, we've checked Sorry, ourselves. Sorry, uh, yeah, again, you cut out similar what? Similar symptoms? Similar signs similar. Yeah. that the That's paladin similar. was showing. No one as of yet. Um, something you may be interested in is there was a red ro- man in red robes there 
who seem to kind of be the cause, I, I reckon could be the cause of this. Um, we've met him before around the hell portals that had been opening up. Um, Just casually mentioned that. Yeah. Um, we tried to defeat him, but when we thought him dead, he resurrected into some ghoul-ish type thing and teleported away. I mean, the kind of general insight, in fact, please real insight, Scott. That would be good. He doesn't believe you. Um, boop. Yeah. Probably thinks your mind's adult, but, well... You can definitely tell this elf does not believe a word you've just said because the idea that somebody would have been someone that, powerful enough to open portals to hell that could then resurrect themselves somehow which is like a feat only gods can do then you say that they just left you alive so that look crosses his face like his kind of elven you know features totally give him away and uh, he kind of like takes his hand off your shoulder at that point and he turns around and speaks to the group and says is this true? everything he said there uh, yeah I just nod my head kind of like the guy that doesn't have a sense of humour sort of thing yeah, working as a group yeah. And then, like, he raises, like, both of his eyebrows in that kind of, oh god, <laughs> kind of face where he's like, hmm. And he starts, like, tapping his lips with his hand. And he says, Who have you told this to? And he's kind of, like, side eyeing the, the group of eleven. Uh, uh, reception at Gold Order, uh, the dude in charge. Now, the dwarf and yourselves. And he just corrects you. Goes Naldrum. Naldrum. Yeah. Like he, like he actually just corrects you. Just says his name. Yeah. It's the only input he's had to the conversation. Yeah. <laughs> Naldrum, <laughs> and keeps himself quiet again. Um, and then, uh, Kel Kel Kelvan. The kid's got a dwarf name. That's uh, nice. Well, no, Naldrum corrects him, so, like, he's the oh, only, sorry, like, he, it's the only thing Naldrum says, is like, oh, it's Naldrum. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, Kelvan is the, who seems to be the one in charge of these two, uh, he says, Do you fear further infection from, and he nods towards the group of, like, eleven? I would just say that, um... We've been traveling together for a while now. If, if a further infection was to spread, surely it would have spread by now. And if you do fear infection, then there's already many of the peasants wandering around in my city as it is. Oh, your city. He turn, like, yeah, I think he turns around, and I think maybe both Reach and Kelvin says that your city? Forgive me, I don't recognize you. I snicker. <laughs> I just smile and I go. But anyway, we would expect, well, personally, I'd expect to see symptoms by now of any illness of, of any kind, but I'm not aware of this type of illness. Yes. Uh, does, it, does Eric say anything else as a reply to that as well? Just smile and go. I am a lord in the city, although my house is no longer there, but I'm still a lord. You will know and fear my name. <laughs> <laughs> and then he says, are you Lord Rinwood, perchance? <laughs> I am. And I have I heard of you. No. And there's just like a slight smirk to the guy's face, but he doesn't really like focus on you anymore. But at that point, he kind of turns back and says, we will take custody of the paladin for now. I assume that's within any kind of like gestures to like the orders that you're holding. Um, mm -hmm. I will 
see what I can discover about the nature of this illness or curse. And as for them, uh, Voron, uh, and he says something in Elven to Voron. Who speaks Elven? Hi. Hi. So anyone that speaks Elven can hear him just say, like, make arrangements to house these 11 people mm. and then look for the other 34 within the city. Um, and then they kind of like nod that's to each other and he turns back. That's the quickest bit of arithmetic you've ever done, by the way, in the whole 30 odd sessions. <laughs> 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 and he says, uh, I mean, I have my moments. And <laughs> it's like sessions 34. Um, so they kind of like nod to each other and then uh, Voron starts to like maneuver the people. Uh, like just like away from the cart and stuff and he says he kind of like turns and kind of like clasps his hands like Kelvin kind of clasps his hands and says uh, are we done? Who's he saying this to? Just the group mostly to reach to be honest mm. Group yeah right so he is going to do something about basically he's going to take the people uh. and the the body yeah uh, I believe we are as long as you feel as though you uh, don't require any help then that's okay and he kind of like smirks and says we will be quite okay thank you and he kind of like nods and then he puts like his um his hand out but he, like he almost doesn't like take his hands like apart with a clasp in front of him but he does he, he puts his hand out to you got eleven and out to us okay, uh, just a shake okay just kind of thinking there a little bit uh, do we want to give some of these 11 remainers uh, some money before they go no <laughs> even like I don't know 100 silver or something at least so in uh, this moment are you just stopping turning on, are we paying them are we are we doing anything like <laughs> no. and this guy's just standing like holding his hand out yeah, yeah. Ah, shake his hand out okay right. so he goes <laughs> off uh, to Voron and they start taking stuff off of their horses um, yeah. and they get like a staff out of the horse, they plant it in the ground and then a big portal opens up and Voron leads all 11 of them through see Eric, that's how you do it right. <laughs> that in, they don't use all good stuff <laughs> all good stuff is how to use you don't know how to use it and then um, the cart obviously I, I use wanting to like give them the cart with Lauren nope. on it because that's not yes. the one. Oh, that, they can that's not, that cat, yeah. yeah, it's not one the one with the money. Ball. Yeah, you keep all the horses though as well. Yeah, you can keep all the uh, horses. Yeah. Except for that one horse yeah. to pull that cart. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cool. Um, they they actually just say that to you. Actually, like, do you wish to keep the horse? We probably would. How many horses is it? Is that enough for one for each of us then? There yes. were what? Well, there would have been yeah, because there's there's actually one spare, right? Actually, there is enough for each of you if you include Naldrum. Because Dada, uh, da, whatever her name was, the had one. She, the Dada. <laughs> <laughs> it's Lady Dada. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's my was more cultured. Thing. I was thinking that's of the artist thing. Dada. Mm. But okay. <laughs> Lady Dada could I mean, be. I she did have a good poker face. Let's say such a Yeah. <laughs> it was a bad uh, romance can, as well. We can let one go, though, can't we? No, because um, you all need a horse, right? Oh, the cat, uh, she took her horse. Right, right, yeah. No, like there's, uh, yeah. there was horses for you guys. There was five of you, and the canna. Yeah. So there were six horses. So yeah. there are still six of you. There's you and an Aldrum. Oh, we don't care about the dwarf, do we? Wow. Oh, no, I, thought the, I thought the dwarf left with them. No, like yeah. they, they also haven't left yet. They're just like pushing like those people through this portal, essentially. Um, no, we need the horse. We'll keep the horse and an Aldrum. You can ride it back to the city be a bit easier. And he kind of just looks at the horse, the horse looks at him. And that's we that, can that. get you up on top of it, don't worry. And then um, <laughs> they like, um, like Kelvan walks over and like just waves his hand over all the kind of like buckles and straps and stuff, they all just undo themselves. And then uh, like the horse you know, just kind of like gestures it to move away. Um, and then he's kind of expecting you guys to like take control of the horse. So whatever one of you goes over to it and takes it from him, that's fine. Doesn't, they don't really care who that is. And then uh, he just magically moves the cart through with a body on it. And then they all go through the portal. And then he, they take their two horses. And that's uh, Kelvin, like leading the two horses through, turns back and says, 
We will inform the Golden Order Hall if we discover anything important. Good to know. We'll check in with them later then. Okay, just like nods to the group and then he uh, goes to head through the portal. Then, yeah, they vanish. What do you do? You're left on a hillside with a cart, six horses, and what? However much gold. So it looks like we've just came into some finances. Indeed. Shall we send the dwarf on his way? Yep. Bye bye. Bye yeah. bye. Now we're just like, huh? <laughs> yes. What do you do with him? No. Probably, uh, I, I want to go back to the Golden Order briefly. <laughs> so I should have mentioned something about uh, if they'd managed to talk to the GGW. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. uh, we're a bit busy though. The uh, GG. Well, I feel like we'd be going there anyway because, like, where else are we going to stay? <laughs> yeah. I want to have a conversation with you guys before we go in. Okay, well, meet the dwarf back at the Golden Order. You go on ahead. Yeah, and now I'm like, uh, okay, I guess. Um, bye. Uh, then, thanks for your help. Bye. <laughs> okay, just awkwardly rides this horse back to the side. <laughs> like it's par probably painful to watch. Like, yeah, I. I think even a dwarf could probably walk faster than what he's going to be doing. Yeah. So, but like, yeah, he wanders off. So, yeah, use her alone, for lack of a better term. And then the snake people attack now, because... <laughs> <laughs> so, I reckon we go back and get a nice good place to stay for the night anyway. Because uh, I presume, Eric, your house is no longer there, I presume. Uh, it's yeah. it's a crater. But before we go, I don't want to be in the city when I talk about this. Just in case there is unwelcome ears. The person well, who's... Welcome, yours have just left, so... <laughs> <laughs> hey, they were very pleasant. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> racist, About racist! Sales, but still. <laughs> the person who stopped my hammer was Celeste. Now, oh. now do people think you mean for the house, in the woods, or in the crater, right? That's the point, yeah. Did, did she cause the, the house to move? Oh. No, she stopped me from going to Omen myself. You were going to go to the Omen? <laughs> Typical, yeah. <laughs> it was like a magic letter or something that like whispered in my head that they have. he has my family and to go to Omen. You got a ransom and you thought you'd just go off and leave us. Oh. I was a bit hot-headed, all right? Yeah. But, calm that but down it a bit. doesn't matter anyway, because the less stopped me. She said I would have died. She's probably true. I but hope that was a lesson learned. Oh. oh, that's why it looked like you were stood in the middle of the crater. To oh. Talking to himself, was he? Right, so it <laughs> might not be true. <laughs> <laughs> Reach, do you want to roll history for me? And we'll, we'll see if we yeah. can get you that answer that I spoke about earlier. Cool. You think that's back struggle. to when you had a near-death experience in a dream. Uh, 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 but yeah, uh, I can't remember what was fine at the time, but yeah, I do. Inky uh, bats. <laughs> that was it, yeah, way back, I know. Yeah. Okay, can you dream like experience, was it? Uh, well, I so sort of, yeah. I was in a room with eight doors. Alright, uh, I think I know exactly where you were. That's. Uh, was there a crack on this one just about that angle? <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't study the room, I was too busy Oh, so the room would have been immaculate, remember? There was nothing like that, yeah. You spent uh, eight years there, buddy. <laughs> you know it's immaculate. Uh, good. <laughs> yeah, but there must be somebody dead or something somewhere, but yeah. That's the thing, though. That's why you spent so much time looking for one, right? Uh, but you, yeah, there's probably. nothing. Uh, yeah, right. Completely immaculate, yeah. Yep. Not a crack in anything, nope. right, okay. That's, I think you were temporarily away down south. Yeah. 
Well, his mind must have been, but his body wasn't. Yeah, whatever the fact. I believe if she uh, has interest in you, she might save your life. How many times? Who knows? Whether she will, I don't know. But <laughs> she saved mine. We could, uh, we could definitely do with our advice just now. Does she say about what we were meant to do? I mean, she gave Eric some damn good advice. Does he remember? She yeah. told me <laughs> to find what's next. Yeah. I also did. I, I also did ask about the Black Fang spear and told her that the Wizard King took it, and she just smiled. And said, "Did he now?" I think it's a bit foggy. She smiled at that. That's good. She's so taking him. Oh. Maybe Aramos isn't the Black Fang spear. Who knows? Maybe it's a book. Can I go and maybe that backpack? book that got destroyed? Remember? Yeah. Check, check the book in my backpack yeah. that Aramos gave mm -hmm. me. Yep. And open up and can I read anything in it? Yep. You can indeed. There what are can I read? two words in there. Find me. I have you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Ask the book who who they are. Right in the just, book. Right, just see is this Eremos? The Eremos is writing, we probably would have seen him write stuff by now. Yeah, that's a good point. To be so, honest, we know it's the animals, but I'm just asking. Yeah. It might not be. So you ask that to a book, and yeah. you stand there holding the pages open. Also, nobody else can see. They see you talking to a blank book. Yeah, okay. Right. Also, can we not see the writing? I mean, he's just opening a book and looking in it while you're talking about what to do. Right. So I feel like yeah. if he's all ran over and looked over uh, his shoulder, it might be a bit weird. <laughs> turn the book around. Can anybody else see this? And they cannot. <laughs> right, okay. I can see the book, yes. <laughs> There's writing in it that I can read. It says, find me. No, it is in the book. Yeah. You judge my sanity, I'm judging yours. I didn't judge it, I just pointed out some of his flaws in it. <laughs> <laughs> the obvious flaws right now is no writing in that book. I mean, it makes sense. Though, he, he, was, he wasn't there when uh, where we found Aramos and we seen the disappearing... Okay. Yeah. So. But to be fair, also, I've experienced your meeting that you had with Celeste as well. That was quite a while ago now, but he, she did kind of uh, save me a fight that might have killed me, but I'm not really sure because I'm not even sure how real the fight was at the right. time, to be honest. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> but, uh, uh, so, yeah, I do believe you, but I do like to jest now and again. That's, Hmm, a joking oh. elf. <laughs> um, I'm only half elf, and it's not a very good joke. I was, I was, <laughs> probably why. It's only half funny. <laughs> I'll just say to say to Eric, I'm like, try asking the book who who they are, or <laughs> to Eric. You know, in it. I did. No, just, to, <laughs> to, to, me, <laughs> to, to Eric. <laughs> no, Look, you know. Uh, Ask the book what? Sorry, who it I, is? Hello, book. Who are you? I oh, did look, it didn't respond. Talk to the book there, and it didn't respond. I'm wondering if we've got ink to try, but I don't know if it'd require any more special ink or. Did do we, ha did do we really... have any of that ink left? I don't. Somebody must have an ink and a quill, right? Somebody between you. Nope. I probably should. Someone will. Well, been your um, been your inventory. If you do have it. Mine's on that bag on the ship. <laughs> I wonder where that ended up. Oh, uh, yeah, I wonder. <laughs> I have Aramos's favourite book. No, mm. you gave that back, I think. Yeah. Oh. I'm sure you gave yeah, it back, yeah. I'm sure you did. It was ages ago, book from Kid. Sad. Um, okay, never mind then. Right. I'll say well. Because I'm sure what happened was, I think, the book was handed to, what do you call her? Justoria, that was it. Mm. Uh, funny enough, I was going to just say. No, I think that's I actually, think... no, I think you do have a book, sorry. I'm confusing myself mm -hmm. now because it's been so long. Um, you have Eremos's book, 
but Reach yes. has the book that Eremos oh. gave him because Eremos no said yeah. this is the book it wants you to have it yeah. and you're like I can't I read this it, yeah allow me to uh, read Venice already for it or something that was along those lines yeah so oh. it is you both have a book yeah Um, well, I think at this point we could really do with just story as advice um, and then I'll turn to Arya and say that bracelet she gave you how does it work? Uh, would it maybe not be good to be two birds on one stone and Eric do you think you could get us back to that hellhole that we weren't sure where we were at the time and we could then get just story to uh, close it and ask her her advice. Mm -hmm. That's a good option as well. Just depends what Eric thinks. It does, yeah. He's thinking a lot. He's, mm -hmm. he's, mm -hmm. yeah, he's mm -hmm. muted so we don't hear the clock's turn. Yep. As he muted, I was like, yeah. why isn't he speaking? Have I broke, have we broke the internet? Ah, busy. I don't know. Um, oh. While we're waiting on his reply, though, um, Arya, are you doing anything with the book you've got? I would want to look through it, see if there's some anything written in it. Uh, you just... waiting on whose reply, sir? So you, you thumb through it, and uh, there's just that picture Aramos drew of everyone. Like, remember, mm -hmm. he, he's got random sketches of people that he's done. Um, yeah. So it's just pictures of you guys. Like Crumbar, like spying with a uh, Reach and stuff like that, and a uh, like picture like Ruya, um, on like I'm a window. I'm curious. Cell. Is it still um? Does it still show Kitty in her tabaxi form, or does it show her like she is now? Yeah, it's still like as Eremos would have seen her. Okay, so they've not changed. Okay, cool. I was curious because you know his writing is a bit. Not, yeah. not phenomenal, like a bit magical, right? Y yeah, so I was wondering if that would be the case for his drawings as well. Nah, it's it's all just a uh, no, as is. Yeah, so what's the thoughts? Did you do anything with the book? Did you say anything about the book? No, I'll just look through it and look at the photo and be like, well, photo drawing and just be yeah. like. There's no writing in this one. But look how cute we were! <laughs> <laughs> and I'll turn the book and try to show them if they can see it, that is. Yeah, down to death. Right, so... I've got two options here to immediate that. I can think of. One is go to Glitter Hagen, get some ink. I'm wondering could we make, uh, cobble some together with a stick and some uh, ash, dirt, and, dirt yeah. and water. Yeah, yeah. So you could use the charcoal from your fire, right? Yeah, yeah, just yeah, charcoal. Soup, yeah. Point, yeah, you could right, do that with some ask, water. Yeah. Right, right. Do that and uh, write in it. Uh, where are you? Who are you? First of all, which one? Uh, in my book. Okay. The one that Eremos gave me. Cool. So you're right on the the Find Me page? Yeah, yeah, Find Me page. Who are you? And then uh, you write the ink into it. It all seems to shimmer into different sigils that you don't recognise. And then they all go invisible. Like they all, I say go invisible, they vanish. And so does the message Find Me. Right, okay. And then nothing happens. But right, right it, in it again. Where are you? Although it's probably if he knew that would be. And then it shimmers again, turns into all these weird sigils, and then they shimmer as well. Right. Different vanish. sigils are the same. Different. You can't really like. They're very hard to make out what they are. Um, right. Like for example, if you tried to redraw them, you wouldn't be able to. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but you don't recognise them. Like, you definitely don't. It's not a language you know. But they, they, they go away. <laughs> hey, you're right, okay. All right. In that case, then, camp for the night or head down south is what I would say. But... Mm -hmm. 
Mm. No, it can be night time. We're, we're woken up now. Yeah, it's, it's early. Sure. Yeah. This is early, right? Okay, cool. Nah, okay, uh, first things first, do you want to divvy up this money? Because we were rich. Yeah. Well, speaking. <laughs> well, I guess we could do it. So, from the book, we didn't really get anything. Oh, maybe from it takes time. Were. Yeah. Um, you, you just have no idea how it works. <laughs> yeah, we should probably we should probably go and store this money somewhere. I was wondering, but is there such a thing as banks, and are they worthwhile? Can they, like, if I put bank money in here, can there I use are, it? In there's, the there's definitely banks, and yeah. if you find the same bank in another, say, like, if you went to the Royal Bank, you could put all the money in it, and you would get it at another bank, yeah. Yeah, another Royal Bank. Exactly. Yeah, yeah right. If you yeah. fall out of favour with the Wizard King, maybe you won't get your money. Yeah, I was also thinking that as well. How pop, how common are certain banks? And the but all so the main cities will have a royal bank in it. Yeah. Remember, money can tap up to platinum. Remember. I was wondering about that as well. Cause see, at the moment, that's divided. That's quite heavy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There is also, uh, I've been googling so, uh, back. Yeah. Does somebody want to work also out? Also, those items. Oh yeah, I have the scroll. Yeah, do you want to spend some time looking that over as well while they're divvying up money? Yeah, while well, we deal with the, the money. Cool, cause, um, uh, you did ask that before and it has been on my to-do list for ages to actually tell you that answer, but like, it hasn't come up since because you were kind of distracted by falling houses. Um, but yes. yeah, if you spend time maybe while they're divvying up the loot and stuff, you look over that scroll again. It is a scroll of spike growth, the spell. Of what? Of what? Sorry. Spike growth. Bike sure that's what it's called, yeah. yeah. So that's can we become brilliant. giants? Gives me a chance to run over it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a second level transmutation spell. Uh, yeah. Ooh, okay. So you can just cast uh, it. It's debatable, you know, can Kitty cast spells? Cause she's... It's not Kitty that can use this. Uh, anyone that can cast spells can use that scroll. Oh, really? Yep, anyone that can cast spells. Do you have any spell slots left there? Rogue style you spell. don't need spell slots for it. The scroll, oh. the scrolls are one and done. It's a one and done. Yeah. Yep. You can't learn it from it, though. No. Nah. Yeah. Easy as what you do with that. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, it's a concentrated spell. Yeah. And that's what you got. But anyone that can cast spells can use it. And it just works because the spell makes it happen. Like the scroll, sorry, not the spell. The scroll makes it happen. Hmm. Yeah, right. Hmm. Is it a one time use? Isn't it? Yeah, so one and done. Okay. Would I know the value of this or do I have to. Uh... It, I mean. Kind of like priceless to peasant people because it's a magic scroll, and kind of nothing to magic people because it's a magic scroll. <laughs> right? Do you know what I mean? It's a bit. Yeah, but if we went to a shop that sold spell scrolls, if there's a, such a thing. Yeah, maybe about 50 gold, maybe. Uh, okay. Depends on the person. Like, yeah. Like, in Horizon, nobody would care. Does that yeah, make obviously. sense? Like, yeah. Like, a random like tinkerer, like a traveling tinkerer or something, would probably like buy it, try and fleece you for it. Yeah. Like, oh, it's, I could, I could give you the, like, you know, the cost of the ink, you know, and then he would sell it for like three hundred gold to somebody. Because he is a dick. It's business. Yeah. So, uh, what's the, th what's the thoughts here? I'd say we keep the scroll because we might not, we might never know when it could come in handy. Mm. I mean, I, I'd say keep the scroll because something like that could definitely come in handy. Yeah. I'd definitely keep it as well, but yeah. Um, I mean, cause it, like, it's not like we're short on money, you know, so it's like. Also, probably, uh, well, you might not get money for it. You may get a promise or something like that, but. 
depends. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you never know. Yeah. So, what's the the plan with the money? Are we tapping it all the way up to platinum? As much uh, as you can? Platinum? Oh, mind you, that would be five uh, platinum then, so we could still get... No, ten. Remember, it's a factor of ten. Fifty-six. Yeah. So if you yeah. ignore Electrum in this maths, right? Ignore Electrum, which is the middle one. Yeah. So it's copper, mm. silver, and uh, gold, and then platinum, right? So it's a factor of ten every time. So it'd be like, what, 50 odd platinum or whatever? Yeah. Uh, or whatever the maths is for that. Yeah. I'm Stuart, just... do math. There you go. Should have done an equals beside that, but so that's what it is. Right. Yeah. So 56 yeah. platinum, 1 gold, and 40. Copper. Let's go. I mean, that's um, not. For us, Good. that's rich. We've yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not that's... a bad uh, price to pay for a. Uh, Writing off Glitterhagen to the zombie apocalypse, eh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, You could probably buy something uh, pretty damn decent with it as well, it's not a bad amount of money. You could definitely afford horses now. We could. Um, but you I have horses. Have, you've already got them, yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> 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 Ryan, what one's platinum? Is that the very bottom one? Yeah. yeah. Very bottom one. Cool, so 56. Could have nice food as well with a bag of spices, just mm -hmm. use that. Uh, painted glass dice, we're going to have some fun games. <laughs> anyone want leather boots and fine steel buckles? Sounds like a rogue or a, a sorcerer kind of equipment. Mm -hmm. uh, Again, they don't do anything, it's just value. Yeah. It's just syllables, yeah. there's no stats uh. to them. You could wear them and they would just be fancy, right? But that's about it. <laughs> If we're in town, we could sell them, but we would get 12 gold for each of the leather boots, the glass dice, and the baggy spices, mm. roughly. Mm. Says the monk who's hardly been in town. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's one stall that could do it with some money, so she can, you know, get her. Grandson. Is date. that Glitterhagen actually? Is that was she? Yeah. Ah, that's that was Glitterhagen, yeah. That was Glitterhagen. Do you want to, Catlith? Do you want yeah. to go back to that stall that's minus uh, a, a big barrel and just give her these? I mean, you could give her one of them at least, anyway. Yeah. What are you giving them? The leather boots. <laughs> yeah, leather boots. Right. Yeah, the boots and buckles. Buckles. I just yeah. like stealthily leave them on the on the side. <laughs> We kind of owe somebody in Glitterhagen some money that they're not aware of. They might be aware of now. Oh, is that the woman that you stole the thing from? Borrowed. Borrowed. Yes. Borrowed. yes. yes. <laughs> Out of game, yes. <laughs> in game. We just think we should Borrowed just give these to someone. <laughs> to yeah. Borrowed and haven't given back because it's kind of no longer existing. Well, it's flying about now, but yeah. That's in a yeah. different form that they wouldn't recognise. <laughs> yeah. I mean, would that have been part of the lump of land that went with it? What the the golden pot thing, the brass pot thing? Yeah. If you left it there, yeah. Oh. And I think we did leave it there, didn't we? So yeah. That's... Don't know. You could have took it with you if you wanted. Like, you just jam it in your bag, but it is heavy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I wouldn't recommend it. But I no. would, would have taken it. We wouldn't have thought of it at the time. And... Yeah, I just feel like she did say she was leaving it, so I think it was left. Yeah, we replaced a, a fancy pot with it, so it didn't look out of place, except, <laughs> you know, it doesn't match the rest of the pot, so... Yeah, and now it's a bit... Mm, maybe not. Wait, <laughs> who's fancy pot? <laughs> Don't worry, you'll never miss it. <laughs> I Did mean, any ones? it might be the only intact thing of my estate left. I really <laughs> doubt that, to be honest. I don't think anything's intact of your estate. Per estate. I think you done fucked your house, bro. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, with this money, I'll pay people to go fix it. Even Zippler would have problems selling that. Yeah. yeah. Um, how are people feeling about what's the next plan then? Like, are you going to try and go back to that hellhole? 
and well, then something to story there. I think it's the really the only obvious thing we can do. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. can go have a word with your golden pals about your big golden. Big golden dragon. boy. Yeah. Yeah. So, into town, repay the debt. To the trade stall woman. Mark yeah, and if you want, you could easily just go and like leave the boots if you wanted. You don't even need to That's speak to her if you wanted. What I was thinking? Yeah, basically, use her stealing ability to put stuff in. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, and just avoid that conversation Pillars. entirely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, you can go and you can like sneak them back on. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Nobody's gonna uh, be weird about you putting stuff on someone's stall. So. Uh, that's <laughs> not something we're gonna be looking out for. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and. Whilst we're in town, go to the Golden Order. Mm -hmm. Right, now we've got time. I can go into reception and ask if we can talk to the guy upstairs again. Who's the guy in charge? Uh, Slobus, yeah. Slobus, yeah. Yeah. Um, they say he left in the night, is what they say when you ask at the desk. Well, that's oh. worrying for the rest of the city. He left. Any idea um, where to? Yeah, he was. Requested at the Golden Citadel. Oh, that's a pity. I mean, it'll be now we offer him a shortcut there. <laughs> oh. yeah. Don't have to choose it. it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so he seems to not be there. Is there anybody in charge here at all now? <laughs> I think the woman at the desk just looks around and then goes, shrugs, me? You. Yeah. Okay. Are you aware of the great gold worm knows what happened to what's his name? I don't want to say his relation. What's his name? Gil. Uh, High Commander Gil. Gil, yeah. High Commander Gil. And she's a. Uh, so, what is the question you ask her, sorry? Yeah. Are you aware of the great gold worm? Uh, do you know if the great gold worm is aware of what happened to uh, High Commander Gil? And then she. She uh, kind of looks and she goes. I think that's related to why Slalbus was called back to the... Uh, and she like rolls her eyes and goes, Commander Slalbus was uh, called back to the Citadel. Okay. That's not going to get me my XP, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Your XB? <laughs> um, but yeah. So that's what she uh, she says. Right. Uh, okay. Uh, what else did we want to do? There's, uh, right. So they're going. Lady boots are going anyway now. Just yeah, they can they can get rid of them. They have found their way to their new owner. Put it that way. Right. Bag of spices, painted glass, dice. Does anybody want them, or are we just going to you sell can, them to the closest yeah, place? Yeah, you can just hawk them if you want the money for it. Right. Mm -hmm. Just throw them at people. Yeah. 25 divided by 5, it's not a 5 gold. I presume we're selling from half price roughly, we'll just round it down to 12, does that sound reasonable? Sure, yeah. Yeah. Right. Works for me. Actually 12. Uh, can we make it, the, well, make it the 12 and a half, because that makes it easy. It's 5 gold each. Right? Yeah. You can round up, don't worry. You can round up for this once. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So add, everyone add 5 gold on again. That's five more gold for folks. I like how Reach is just like proper like monopolizing those. Oh, really? I'm just going to get it. It's just I love the monk that ra like it was like raised and you yeah, know without I don't money. Care about money. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, but I'm good with it. I don't care about it, but I'm good with it. Yeah, why not? That's <laughs> <laughs> kidding. It works. It is I like the kid that kind of do must, but knows all the betting odds and how yeah. to <laughs> add them all up and everything. <laughs> yeah. I have it works, man. It works. Yeah. Uh, okay. So what now? Um, yeah, right, so you've done all that, right? You've found out, like maybe you are in the order hall, that you've all met there, um, after doing your stuff in town and selling and whatnot. Um, does anyone want to resupply in town? Good timing for it. Like, you just want to like add rations and stuff, as the cost of them in the book and whatnot, and you can do so, anything kind of generic that way. Another, yeah, another three rations would be good. Um, so yeah, you can stock up on whatever you are willing to pay for um, yeah. from the book. That's fine. Um, anything like reasonably mundane from the item list is fine because you'd get that in Glitterhagen, no bother. So, I mean, this is a trade city, so you don't have to look for it. Um, so you can buy whatever you want in terms of that. Obviously no magic items or any nonsense like that though. 
um, even healing potions and stuff you could pick up if you wanted. I think I'll yeah. just want to fill in my quiver, so just obviously I still have the golden arrows, but just like normal arrows. Yeah, well you'd have to buy normal stuff now, you couldn't refill any yeah, of the golden yeah. stuff. There's no, nothing. no, that's what I'm saying, like, I, I'm I'm really good on the golden arrows, but for, for like normal arrows, yeah, I, I think I would like to I buy said, yeah. some, let me see. Anything I, I don't have any idea how much they would be, but yeah. They'll be in the book. Yeah. Um, you all have the PDF, that. and I think two of you at least have the, the physical book as well. It's in the yes, section. but I need to actually get out of bed and I imagine find that. it wherever on the floor it is. But you can do all that off camera anyway. That's just admin stuff. You can let me know what you pick right. up, um, and obviously yeah. you can, oh, sure. can deduct the gold. Healing potions cost. I was just about to say how much you're posting. I think they were fifty one day. Fifty gold. Okay, maybe I'm thinking of something else, sorry. Let's see. Let's have a look then. I'll just get the player's handbook out. Since nobody else is looking through the PDF. <laughs> well, I tried using the what's it thing. What's it? Come no, you don't eat, you don't eat your bag of crisps. Compendium doesn't say crap. Oh, what is so delicious? But anyway. If you want to restock your herbalism yeah. kit, by the way, it's five gold as well, Reach. If you want to restock that. Right. Do you restock it or what? Has it got uses? I don't know. I feel like a three weeks of tending to that guy probably would have used up whatever I you think... had. Right. Right. It, just, it just means you can bullshit doing stuff with the herbalism kit. Yeah. Um, Is that where you'd always need to go and do survival checks to go get stuff for it, right? Uh, right, rations per day is five silver. Is anybody writing this down? Um, I'm just opening up. You might want to take this in a chat somewhere so everybody's got a note of it for whatever they want to buy. It in my bio. So rations for one day of rations is five silver, right? And then what was the rest? It was healing potions we wanted to look up, wasn't it? Yeah. Let me find. 50 gold pieces for a potion of healing. Ah! Yep. Wow. Anything else people wanting to find? Do you want a backpack again? Eric? I have a backpack. Do you? Oh yeah, I guess so. I got it from the cultist camp, I believe. Oh yeah. Do you really want a cultist backpack? <laughs> I go blue and I have a cultist backpack. Hmm. No one so it was 100 gold. What was that? Was 100 gold, one platinum? Uh, yes. Yeah. No. Uh, cool. 10. No? 10 gold. Or oh, 10, sorry. Yeah, 10. Yep. So it's 5 platinum for a potion. Yeah, ignore the electro electrum in the middle of the yeah. yeah. I am never going to use electrum, so. <laughs> no. It's like. I don't know, it's one twentieth or something, probably uh, probably copper. Twenty copper makes one electrum something like that. It's like half it's a five silver, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it's half a gold, so yeah. That'd be right, yeah. Yep. I just I like it as a coin, I just don't want to use it. Yeah, because it messes up the mass. Yeah. I like my the magic money of the land is way better than electrum. Maybe dwarves introduced electrum to the currency. Because they're idiots. So, maybe that. Um, but yeah, so anything else specific people want to, like, for arrows and stuff, that was it. So, for 20 arrows, it's one gold, right? Uh, yeah, literally. It's just <laughs> and yeah. crossbow bolts is, for 20 crossbows, it's one gold. Um, obviously, you'll need, like, a case for these things, which is a one gold. I have for my thingy, but it's you, not. You probably have empty cases, have two yeah. Left. Yeah, yeah, you I can just fun to you can just fill them back up. But if you still still got the cases and whatnot, you can do that. Um, yeah, <laughs> you can obviously deal with inventory stuff between sessions, uh, right? So what is the plan? These are restocked, right? These are in the order hall. And um, when you get back to the order hall, reach. Um, let me see. Yeah. Do we get a? Do we get any updates? Give me a second. I'll look over this. This note. Everybody's left the soon-to-be zombie-infested city. As 
It's always worth Yeah, my family in it also. We can leave. Yeah. I just feel like there was something I was going to say about the Golden Order to you. And now I'm trying to work out what it was. Couldn't have been that important. Hmm. I'm guessing all the shit has hit the fan down south. No. No, I don't think there's any. Thing. If I if I remember whatever is in the back of my mind, I'll retroactively put yeah. it in. But at the moment, I can't think of anything. So, it doesn't matter. There's nothing. Right. Mm -hmm. Everybody's with me, by the way, when I was talking to the receptionist. Yes, so they're all up to date. I don't need. Yeah, and you've have, you have went out and you've come back in and you've done oh. your stalking and whatnot. So, yeah, you've, like, you've spent like what was of this day, you've sort of yeah. recouped, and you can still be back at the order hall now. Because um, yeah. I think the plan's to go somewhere, right? With the hammer, I feel. <laughs> what I'm going to do, right, is I'm going to pick up a t few tiny little trinkets like soap and candle and that sort of stuff, but I'll, I'll get it all sorted yeah, privately. Sure, they're, yeah. they're cheap yeah. or whatever. Yeah, because I'm thinking, like, you know, Absolutely. I have fire and I have good eyesight and whatever, but if at one point we're with people that don't have good eyesight, it'd be easy to just have a candle, light the candle here, mind your own candle, you mm -hmm. know, instead of just me just buy a bunch constantly of having a torches, fireball yeah. in my head or whatever. So, yeah, I thought it might be a good idea to have some candles. In worst case scenario, you know, they'll come very handy if when we're in the middle of nature somewhere and I decide to go have a bath in the middle of the night and just, you know, have a couple of candles on the side of the water. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, you can also just buy more torches if you wanted as well. Oh, yeah, I guess. There oh, a druid who needs soap. That's just mm -hmm. not the druid way, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be shaving your arms and so on. You thought the animals. <laughs> um, yeah. So, you have done what you need to do. If you have any specific requests that need GM approval, you can let me know if you just want to try and roll for shit in the background, but we'll deal with that, as I said, another time. But yeah, what's the plan? What do you do? What's your, you all meet back up, you've got your stuff stocked up. Is there in like your own part of the barracks? Because again, the place is pretty empty. So, we're going to sleep the night here, then go in the morning, or are we, or what? Spend the night and then in the morning teleport to Flamey Hole thing. You okay with that, Eric? Well, I'm fine with it. Whether the hammer does what we want, we don't know. We are willing to trust you. It's Everybody, not me. you need to trust for the worst. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Everybody's wearing goggles as you look back up. <laughs> <laughs> We've got like big alchemist big goggles, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, you just can like turn in for the night. Maybe like you go to bed with a book, reach, and you're like looking yeah. through it um, yeah. as you do so. And uh, yeah, there's still like nothing yet in the book. Um, so that you put that to the side and you all kind of turn in for the night and then no, I've got to charge my hammer okay so do you want to burn through some more spell cool. slots before you sleep yeah before I get that long rest okay burn through what you need to burn through yeah I'm doing it cool and then those sparks coming from the other end of the, the hallway or something <laughs> <laughs> it's just this horrible red glow isn't it and then <laughs> as always it's a vapour and energy pulses into the hammer and then blue and then you sleep, yeah. Cool. <laughs> so you can you can charge it back up and get your long rest as well. Blue. <laughs> you blew yourself, and then uh, yeah, you just wake up the next day. Yeah, so far so good. Mm -hmm, yeah. Sometimes you are allowed to just get a night's sleep. Like I know it's rare in RP, but yeah. you sometimes can just get them. Yeah. I don't believe you. Mm. Something like, happened. Check your inventory. Yeah. It's like, so you have a nap, uh, take 10 damage. <laughs> Every turn. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so what do you do in the morning? I'm Are we still going sleeping. In the middle of nowhere, just in case, maybe. Um, then try this. Go like half an hour out of the city, and then try and hit the hammer. <laughs> what are you doing with the horses? Because... Give them to the them. hold them up at the golden order. Because Eric We can't we can't take a horse through a portal. Ah, I challenge you to that. Let's find out. 
Okay. I could probably think of where we need to go, that hell hole, then throw the hammer, and then as we're trotting through on a horses through said portal, pick it back up. I've got some rope for your hammer. So if you tie the rope to the hammer and around your wrist, you can just throw it on the ground directly below us whilst we're on the horses. Oh. I was hoping, I was kind of preferring I throw it forward so the portal like is a gateway we walk through. How will the hammer know when to open the portal? What? It does, it tends to do it instantly. The portal opens and closes instantly. Always when he's been in contact with it. Ah, uh, okay. So, there's that. You want to roll Arcana for me, right? And I'll see if I can help you as a GM. <laughs> Actually, no, you don't need to hit it with any force. Right. You're on your own. But if I've used it emotionally, shit's gone wrong. You could tap the back of the horse with it. <laughs> it just gets booted oh, by this horse? Yeah. <laughs> the worst case, we've got some... Yeah, half a horse. Another ten rations at least. <laughs> right. Right. Tap the, so the horse, the let's talk about let, let's talk about this from what has happened every single time, right? So we have all stood around Eric. He's hit the ground, and then that ten foot bubble beneath him, the portal circle, he just fell through it every time. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, it's ten foot. I don't think we could fit all horses in it. Right. Okay. In that case, then. They're worth seventy-five gold each. <laughs> I mean, it's you could do, you could pay them, yeah. yeah. Wherever they kind of found them from, right? <laughs> so that's thirty-five, thirty-seven and a half. Yeah. So you can sell them. Wait, are they think. even horses? She might have just magically made them. That doesn't matter. Yeah, this woman that died to a lightning bolt strike in the middle of the forest totally made magical horses. Ah, okay. We don't know if she died to it. <laughs> she could have used it to yeet away like I can with my uh, thunder yeah. magic. To be honest, if they're real enough for us to ride and use for what? As long as they're real enough, well, well you sell, sell them in the gold pass passes yes. hands. <laughs> <laughs> it was a horse when I sold you it. <laughs> sold this scene. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it just reminds me of the name of the wind, actually. <laughs> wow. Just give him to the golden order. You could, yeah. To be honest, I was thinking easy. of Harry Potter mm. and Leprechaun Gold, but still. <laughs> That's not how you got rich, by the way, Eric. Or your, if, well, your Leprechaun of... Gold. No, giving horses away for free. Oh, giving horses. Oh, right. <laughs> Do we need, like, paper? Like, I say paper. Um, like, for metal. licenses to own these horses? Like, proof Do of you, ownership? Do you have inspiration, Eric, at the moment? No. No? Okay. So I can't even try and give you this information that I would like to about this goddamn hammer. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Seven arcana is nothing. I can't. Not like yeah, that. it's nothing. It's, it's nothing. Sorry, buddy. Could I gift him my inspiration? You can, yeah. Yeah. You totally can. Do you want to do that? Oh. Yeah. It's woo. Do you want to roll arcana again and we'll add it? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Anyone else got any? <laughs> No, all of us it, it, it doesn't wow. you, you can't do it anymore anyway because yeah. it would have been on the 7 that it was adding on to it, you don't get to re-roll to try and think you're smarter again it would take a bit of time <laughs> before you, you try and commune with it again uh, what an amazing use of uh, the it's the same as the luck right the luck was so badly used as well in terms of the dice rolls not like it wasn't a bad idea what you should do with it but it just the it wasn't useful in the end, oh, unfortunately. It yeah. It's like when I use my inspiration to try lie to my little sister, it's just both crit fails. Huh. Well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, sadly no. no. But there is something glaringly obvious you're missing about this hammer and the use of it. It's as much help as I can really give you. Something is amiss. <laughs> um, I don't like know yet. Do you want I'll, to sit, I'll sit on it. Sits on hammer. Owl. Oh, um. Teleports. <laughs> yeah, Turns out it actually also works as a broom. Um, <laughs> now, horses, let's make a decision, right? So, you know when he hits the hammer on the ground, that's not going to be yeah. enough space to fit all the horses. You maybe get away with one at a squeeze. 
Yeah. Who's the famous artist with the half the cow? Yeah, we would could end up with a lot of that kind of <laughs> yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> Just a bunch of horses' heads, mafia teleporting. <laughs> Give them to the God of Honor, because we... Well, they they will need the help, all the help they can get if they are down to yeah, what the God of Honor Yeah, if they're to war, anyway. they're, yeah, they're going to need... And if they've got six horses they can go to war on, Perfect. Or maybe they're not even war horses. Maybe they're supply horses. That's even better for them because they can then supply said front line wherever said front line is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, they're just like pretty decent uh, riding horses, yeah. So they're of pretty good quality. And we're helping your order here. <laughs> yeah. That's... Yeah, do you want to leave them with the order? Yes. Well, well I leave them as well. But... Yeah, that's up to you. So you leave the all the horses, or all five of them at least, that you have. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Okay, okay. And then, right, so you have this shot of just leaving a bunch of horses in the Golden Order, and then you head off. Uh, you head outside of the city, was it, to do the, the jump? Yeah, because I think it would just be a bad idea to do it inside. I think it's a good idea, just in case to go out, yeah, mm-hmm. just in case. Yeah. And. Just in case we take the entire city. <laughs> We also brought you glitter, Higgin. <laughs> I don't want to pull that. I'll pull the hell hole here. Oh, that'd be so funny. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, quickly it. break that bracelet. Was it uh, just it stretch? Be like, like a broken, like graphic. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Pink and black hexes. <laughs> squares on it. Um, uh, where's the texture? So, um, cool. What's the? Uh, how does this look? Is what I guess I'm asking. Everyone stands around me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I imagine. Yeah, all um, holding hands. Touching distance. Yeah. I just look at I just look at the hammer and go, please do what I want this time. And then uh, it, it, think it, it, of the hell it hole. winks at you. <laughs> I'm just like, ah, this is gonna go wrong. Just out of curiosity, before think you do this, area. do you by chance have like you know a holiday home, holiday date somewhere? Yeah, it's outside of Glitterhagen now. Uh, it's in the woods. <laughs> no, I mean in addition to <laughs> never mind. Well, there's where my family hailed from, but yeah, High Rock, the other city. Yeah, yeah. Um, for those who don't care, sure. High Rock's away over this way. Like High yeah. Rock's there, like on the edge of that cliff. That wouldn't be that bad, right? Dropping the cliff on you, that'd be fine. So I think of the area where the hell hole is. Mm-hmm. I might just. Please put us there, and then I tap the floor. Okay, cool. Hit it. Okay. Cool. Big red vortex opens, swallows you all up, you all fall through into the red space, and then you all land. Heat hits you very strong, waves of heat. Um, oh my god, we're in the fucking portal, aren't we? Uh, well, I mean, you're going through a portal, right? I thought about the area around it. <laughs> Here's go, guys. Ah, cool. Yeah. Um, so you hear the clattering of steel and the shouting of battle. And um, yeah, we will end our session Uh-oh. there, everybody. Wow. Cool. Well, they're my friendly is good news, by the way. That's better than usual. All right. That's oh <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, I, yeah that's... I was crapping myself. Yeah, that's a good point. Hey, look, there's still four chairs there. <laughs> hey. And uh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah. So, what would you like to call this session? Uh... Still glitter, Higgin. <laughs> So you dealt with the the dodgy possible cursed body. You uh, have restocked, uh, informed, and like Slopus is uh, caught up. Oh, I remember what it is now. So good because we're still in the session. There is a note for you from Slopus uh, left yeah. for you. So like by the time you go out and do your stuff and come back, that person's like, oh, by the way, he actually did leave something for you. Because obviously she's just been left in charge and had a lot to deal with. I am um, change your note. It's the equivalent of a thank you uh, for the service to the Order and what you did up north. And it thanks right. like, you and your comrades, etc. So you get the equivalent of a story point 
with the Great Gold Worm as a party. Cool. So okay. he's have earned that nice. as a reward. That is what it was. I knew Ooh. I had something in my brain that's like remembering do that. I think there is a document for party points somewhere. How do we mark story points again? It's in the uh, game tracker. Game map. It's yeah. just kind of like one of us, one for the whole party. So. Yeah, it's a party point. Yeah, so that's how they work now. We don't yeah, it. story point. Uh, so we don't earn them individually, but there is a tracker somewhere for that. I just don't know where it is. Yeah, it's in the documents or something. Uh, like that. Yeah, it's in the thing with the like gold. Player tracker. resources. So there's player resources, uh, party story points. There we go. It's uh, on the journal. Oh. Yep. You see it now. Player resources, party story points. Yeah, I'm editing it. No one else edits it. Yeah, on you go. There we go. And it's in there. So you have one for the Great Gold Worm now. There you go, guys. Finally. I got one. Nice. Yeah. And you obviously can just decide as and when you wish to use them. Those who still have them individually obviously still have their individual ones um, as well, which I think is only two of you, right? I think um, Arya yeah, and Derek yeah, yeah. haven't used yours yet. Okay, okay. Yeah. No, I haven't. I haven't. So, yeah. We still need a name for this one. Um, also, Celeste showed up, I guess, as well. So that was another thing that happened. Uh, Magna made a brief we appearance. Have a, we have a selfish Celeste. Hmm. What about just run cowards? <laughs> Magna, the family thief. Hmm. <laughs> um. Don't know. I mean, you could always have something like family matters, I guess, but it's kind of like one part of a, a session. But so family. Matters. We had Magna. We had um, you died. We had uh, <laughs> reckless. I guess that's reckless probably. Abandoned. I think reckless is kind of good because, well, Crumbar and the Panther and the people and then the hammer and the crater. Whereas the ending was kind of all together, right? I don't know. Any thoughts, anyone? I like you died. You died? Yeah, it could be you died. Mm -hmm. Oh my game, you died. Oh. It's almost like um, Dark Souls. Oh, That's what I was thinking Dark. of. Yeah. Uh, anyone else like you died? Over Reckless? You died. I like you, you died. Yeah, we'll go for that then. That can be the session title. You died. Um. Good. Right. Goals. Let's look at goals. Eric. Um. God. I don't even know now. Ah, you should probably have asked Celeste that question. That would have been a good task. Yeah. Do you happen to know a Dukana, maybe? Sometimes goes by Zedreka. Um. <laughs> I mean, so end of the day, don't we all go by Zedreka? I think so, <laughs> yeah. So thinking, yeah, mentioning Zedreka would have been terrible. She said she's everywhere. Yeah, yep, the only Zedreka. <laughs> um, no, I don't think you've learned anything about the canon yet. Uh, no, it's still an ongoing one. And obviously, if you want to change it, you can let me know in the meantime. Uh, Arya, you did try, but you tried really badly. Um, <laughs> you are yeah, probably, count. to be honest, to put it into like statistics, I guess you're probably one good roll away from it being completed. Whoop, whoop, just whoop. so you know, in terms of percentage, like we're talking, if you roll like somewhere like a seventeen, and he gets at least above a ten, you'll get, you know, yeah. you'll, you'll complete the progress, because um, you've picked up, as I said, roughly about eighty percent that you would need to then consider yourself fluent in that. But that's nearly done, definitely. Fair enough. Um, Crumbar. Find out more information about the red robe man. You mentioned that at least to the like um, what's his face, Kelvin. Yeah. Um, which mostly got a raised eyebrow, mostly. Um, so I guess we're still working on that. Yeah, it's what I was wanting to talk to uh, Justoria about mm -hmm. more. Yeah. I mean, you could always summon her here, right? In that mess. Yep. <laughs> it just comes up engaged. Sorry. <laughs> Busy. <laughs> beep beep. Um. Speaking of that, though, figure out how to close hellholes portals without your story. You might get a chance, Kitty. You. Yeah. You might get a chance. Might um, get a chance. And reach still no word yet of that, no but that might yeah. be what's been discussed down at 
I was uh, actually Shadow. curious. There was no great gold worm in that last wee picture we saw, no. In the last what, sorry? Uh, in the last scene we saw, I didn't notice the great gold worm or Gil in that scene, did I? No. No, not at all. No. no. Right, okay. Nah, right. not, not in a battle. Um, it didn't even, like, you wouldn't, in a glance, it wasn't paladins. Right. Nope. Right. Soldiers, okay. but not paladins. Damn. Because mm -hmm. the gold's yeah. obvious. <laughs> what what it might have been there, you'd need to wait and then get a look around once you're actually there, though. Because, yeah. yeah, you just know, nah, enough it wasn't a, a sea of gold that you saw. Um, but yeah, I think if you inquire into maybe the, the Citadel goings on, you might get a goal complete as well, Reach. Mm -hmm. Depending on what's going on. Cool. So, I think goals will still work on next. There'll be no combat yet, but I think you can guess that there's likely going to be combat next session by the looks of things, unless you just. just yeah! Unless Eric just charges up and eats away again. Or. Yeah, get him out and running. It's one or the other, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, that could be interesting. As for that, though, I... Eric, do you want to start us off? Interesting. Right. Um, time to find out what's next. <laughs> uh, what's next would have been a good session title. Um, oh yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> oh well. You died's also valid. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep. So dark, you so. died. Yep. I died. <laughs> you died. <laughs> just nod solemnly. Oh dear. Well, <laughs> is this the afterlife? Just eight doors? Oh, that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to prefer Reach knows that. Like, just sat there for eight years. Like, okay. Reach died for eight years. Oh, <laughs> shit. Mm. Felt like it. Or died for eight years worth of your guys' resurrections, right? Um, yeah. Anything else you want to add? Because, I mean, that was... Um, I guess it was, like, a nice way of getting a bit more hope for Eric, right? It's... Very interesting. There was other question I wanted to ask, but I didn't want to push my luck with uh, Celeste. I was like, I feel like if I ask too much, she'll just yeet me out of one of the doors. So I you underestimate I how patient do... she can be. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I was just like, uh, big scary person. What were you going to ask? Um, it was going to be about the Kana, and it'll be. Like, I didn't know how to phrase the question. It, mm, something to do with her, and is she really, is she really who she says she is, or is she uh, who is the person who is disguised as Dakana? Okay. I wasn't too sure. I just like, eh. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's definitely worth investigating. Definitely, right? Unless you just think, eh, she was a strange person that spoke many languages, goodbye. Um, <laughs> I mean, right? Spooky eyes. Mm. Mm. Uh, anything else you want to add? Nah. Cool. Are you? No, I've just been like, a bit of a roller coaster. Like, <laughs> I don't know what to do there, and then obviously I see other things happening in other places, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's Celeste. Mm. And, um,. So it's been very interesting all around. Yeah. Find Me actually would have been a good name for the session as well. Find Me. Oh, yeah. God, I guess. So good at this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, there's so many things racing through my head right now. I'm a bit like... Yeah, right. Many directions you can go in again. But, if anything, you've solved the Northern Orc problem for now, right? So that's good. Yep, that has definitely been done. Except yep. for it means there's probably a hellhole up north that we don't know about. But yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe that's where you are now. Little victories, bro. <laughs> yeah, Little there's many victories. deserts up north. That's the only problem. Uh, yeah, there's so actually lots. <laughs> under the, yeah. under the, the and yeah. the uh -huh. <laughs> okay, yeah. Mostly <laughs> under the the part. The T of yeah. the is like the kind of deserty part. Um, under the H is where the dwarves live. So... But yeah, uh, anything else you add, Arya? No, not really. I'm just like already excited for next week, even though you know it's not gonna be very easy. Mm. I mean, 
These are all big burly people there, right? He's... Relatively speaking, it's the easiest battle we're going to ever have because half of them are fighting with us. I find it might even, even be more than half of them. Mm. Oh, okay. I couldn't really. I was trying to zoom and zoom and zoom in. I couldn't really see like proportions for each. Like mm. not proportions. Mm. Um, yeah. Um, we're, we've got a few. Yeah, homies, like numbers so... and shit. I couldn't because. Like, by the time I managed to zoom in a bit, it disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I had a quick look. <laughs> it's a screenshot button there for buddies. Um, yeah. Or you can just go back on the YouTube video, right? Yeah. I know, I know, I know. Um, yeah, uh, Crumber? Um, yeah, a bit of a shock that uh, the can has turned up. To last. Um, Shit, I actually didn't even mean it that time. Celestine. <laughs> um, oh yeah, God. that was that was that was a bit of a shock. Because mm. um, you know it's like, well, we haven't heard anything from her since hit yeah, one. Right. So it's like Yeah, it's been months. Months and months. Like, <laughs> so you literally like and it's not like we haven't thrown ourselves into near death. Mm -hmm. So it's like I mean people have been rolling death saves multiple mm. times. Yeah. So it's like, what made this one so important that you had to intervene? Yeah, right. Um, so, yeah. Um, be interesting to see uh, how else we can get, into co get her to contact us then. Selfish reasons. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah, selfish we, need to, almost, we need to kill ourselves for her to appear. Yeah. Yeah, you want to play that that game of chicken with me? I was thinking, <laughs> yeah, <your> first crumble. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he wouldn't die on the first go, though. <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> <laughs> right, try again. Yep. <laughs> Second time's the charm. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, anything else you want to add, Crumber? Just do what you do. Uh, nah, I'm all good. So... Now that you're attuned to your axe, though, right? It's going to be interesting mm -hmm. to see how that goes for this fight. Right? If you stay and take part in it, that is. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was a good timing. Yeah. Oh, definitely. It's almost it's, like it was kind of uh, planned, in a way. I know, right? It's almost like... I can't uh, plan this. I didn't know what you were going to do. I, I just... <laughs> I, just think right. you good I think you just want to see me in pain. No. How dare you? <laughs> I want to see all of you in pain. Mm. No, no, single you out. <clears throat> Inclusive, right? Um, also, no, it's just it's a bloody good axe. I'll have you know, no pun intended. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 um, yeah. Okay. What about Kay? Or Kitlith? Sorry, Kitlith. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, my nickname is Kitty, I guess. Yeah. Really. Um, I guess my favourite bit of this one was like going to find Eric and like just seeing him stood in the middle of what was once his home, mm. <laughs> like talking to himself a little bit, <laughs> like, yeah. oh, okay, he has full on lost it. Okay, <laughs> he is cuckoo bananas. <laughs> He's gone full crazy. Mm. I like the idea that your bird, like Alaco, Alaco, sorry, is like just looking going, oh god. <laughs> It's like just sort of fills me in, and it's maybe like doing charades. As well. <laughs> and then the hammer went. Mm -hmm. Not that we've got mind link yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I like that. That um, no, was good. Yeah, it was good. I also like this kind of strange kind of like. It seems like like Kitless, <laughs> <laughs> Kitless actually trying to like look out for Eric because obviously that's a couple of sessions now we've seen her like trying to keep an eye on him and almost kind of being there for him. So it's nice to see that and uh, you know. This guy's obviously going through something. Like they're just giving him my bird as like a kind of like a pager almost. So like mm. if anything happened, it could have like flown off and gone. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, and obviously, once it's within like a hundred feet of you, you get that kind of you know you know you can connect with it. Yeah. So um, oh god, these are worse. These get worse. They get so bad. Uh, Ethel, should I add? Okay. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, reach. I didn't die. Somebody else died. Right. It's nice with you. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. You're doing well. In fact, I don't yeah. think you've died for a while. I haven't. I'm going to lose that knack of it. But mm -hmm. anyway. 
I think it was um, back at Many Hands Make Light Work, I think, was the last time you... Uh, and that was way back at 19, so... Yeah. There you go, buddy. That was a whole level ago. Um, plus, I don't think these are that far away. These are probably a good couple of golds away, and then maybe a good combat away from levelling up again, probably. So... Yeah. And fun enough. Yeah. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> any actual net? If... No, nope, looking forward to a fight next time. Yeah, but, uh, good. Other than that, I think we've just made City Z, but it'll <laughs> we'll be uh, interesting to see it in a few weeks' time or whatever. Zombie Haven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or Hagen, sorry, I should say, yeah. Zombie Hagen. That's yeah, fine. Glitter Zombies. Oh, okay. Glitter Zombies, yeah. Anyway. Just think, it's more XP for us, so. <laughs> the whole city's worth. We could yeah. level up all the way to fifty. We're going through the city. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep yeah. going. <laughs> we are the we are a barren zombie. Uh, this is our city. Uh, please stay away. This is our XP pile. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah, I think uh, it's interesting because I feel like you haven't so much gained new quests really, if you ignore the the stuff from last time with the Kana yeah. and the Red Robe Man, because that's kind of been ongoing. The Red Robe Man's been around for a while. Um, mm. He was there since the abyss, so yeah. The can is a wee bit interesting, other than that, but yeah. Yeah, that's like the only real, but, the real new element is that. Um, I've been pushed to go back to what was one of the very first quests, and that's find Eremos. Mm -hmm, so. Right, find me. Yeah, it's good, and we'll see where your weird magical letters went to, as well. Hmm. But yeah, that's good. Yeah. I have nothing else to add. Anybody else got anything else to add? No. Like, subscribe, watch all the other episodes, check our other show for their arc, player kills and that. You know. Get your friends to subscribe as well. <laughs> and all other well, stuff. We just dropped into a battlefield, so uh, they should subscribe to watch that. Yeah. Um, besides that, then, thanks guys for playing. Thank yeah. you. And uh, goodbye. Bye. Bye bye.